Okay, now we'll get to questions. Yes, now we have it. Uh, <laughs> first question here we have uh, from our Discord. Uh, I know that when 1.4 launched, you had specific guidance for what we, the player base, could do to help you design, help us, the design group. Yeah, yeah. Talking now and looking forward to 1.5, what are the items we can take a look at uh, for you in the immediate future? What, yeah. are, what are things that you really want the community to focus it's on? It's such a good question. So uh, I think we're down to balancing um, Really, for me, it's in this uh, hitting in 1.5, truly, but even now, like understanding how you feel about um, where armor and uh, and evasion and thresholds are at, um, understanding also, like, we have a bunch of items and we have a bunch of equipment that all is in the book that has been there the whole time, like, getting feedback on that so that we know, oh, these things I really like, these things I don't, these mechanics seem to work and they don't. Like, I'm excited to see all of that. Um, and also, for me, domain cards are, uh, uh, in specific, the levels five through like eight or nine, right? Like that's the area that we've had the least amount of surveys on. So I know we said it last time, but I'll say it again, like really testing those levels for us would be super helpful. Um, and, and getting those domain cards to the table um, so that we know that they all work together the way that it's supposed yeah, to. Yeah, any GMs out there that want to run, you know, a handful of one shots or a yeah. short form campaign that focuses specifically on those levels uh, if you're a group that would be fantastic yeah, it'd be so plus helpful. they're really really fun levels to play because a lot of your abilities get really crazy around that yeah. time too <laughs> so you get to really find some builds that do some crazy shit yeah Are you ready? Is everybody ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Ready to go. Hi, everybody. I'm Rachel. And I'm Steven. Was that good? Was it too much? <laughs> it's beautiful. I loved it. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, we're the Faint Divinities. Welcome to the stream tonight, guys. I'm so glad that everyone can join in with us. Um, I will be our Dagger Master for the evening um, with three lovely players. I have uh, Rachel. Chris and Justin all joining me tonight. Um, I uh, will turn it over to Rachel so she can give you all some more context of what's going on this evening. Yeah, you, and... yeah. We, we, we've thrown you all for a loop. If you are a part of our Discord channel, by the way, then you would know this already. So get in there and then you'll have the announcements before it happens. Otherwise, you probably have tuned in for uh, what you thought was going to be a finale. And as you can see from Kayla's chat, watching from beyond the grave, she is not doing well. She has pneumonia, <laughs> pneumonic plague, came down with the vapors, a little bit of the red mist. She is not doing well. So, um, all bad things. Yeah. So, again, um, if, you know, just to remind everybody here on <laughs> our channel, we play Daggerheart, which is the new tabletop RPG from Darrington Press and Critical Role that is currently in open beta 1.4.2. Um, and usually we play a campaign that is uh, kind of going along the normal paths where we have a group of people at level two, soon to be level three. Um, but when a player is in trouble, you, you just let them, you let them recover in peace. You, you don't bully them in the chat. There, she's, <laughs> you know, that thing of like, what would have killed a Victorian child, whatever Kayla has, like, because she is sick. So, but it was a really cool time. No, I'm so sorry. I do not want to say it was really cool timing. It was not Kayla. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. It was horrible timing. I love you. Um, it was interesting timing um, because because it was it was awful timing. But if there were to be a single, listen, Christian, you get out of there with your chat clip that nonsense. My hands are at, it wasn't me. It, it was me. horrible timing, but if there were to be a silver lining, it's that last week during the 1.4.2 um, 
live stream discussing the open beta from Matthew Mercer and Spencer Stark. Actually, I posted the question. I asked them in the, the Daring to Press Discord, what can we, the community, knowing that we're coming to a close, open beta ends in July, gather your party, what can we, the community, do to help you guys out? And they were pretty quick to respond of, run some one shots, run some higher level one shots, mid to high basically levels four through nine is what they're looking for so we're very sad we're so sad to see that Kayla is ill but you know what if if it gives us an opportunity to take playing a one shot which we were going to do in our free time anyway we will do that and maybe we'll entertain Kayla a little bit while she's bedridden you know um uh because we just she's she's just not doing great you guys so but that's what we're here to do today. We are here to play Daggerheart at level five, and we have brand new characters for this, guys. Um, Very exciting. Very do, exciting. Do you? Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, Steven, Do you want to introduce who you are? Um, I know you're not so a character, that, but like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm everyone that they're not, guys. Um, uh, I'm Steven. I am going to be the dagger master for this evening. Uh, I've been DMing off and on periodically for about five to six years, as long as Rachel, but not as much. <laughs> so, well, if it's as long as me, which I think it is, you need to up that man because it's like closer to eight. Like, hey, nine. stop making me old. I'm young. I'm a young guy. I just started. It's it's really interesting. Yeah, it's a um, long time, guys. But, doing this. Um, in this uh, glorious world that we're creating together, I have shaved out an area uh, for us to kind of dig around in. Um, the bottom uh, right-hand corner of the map, and actually I think I can post this over here. Young um, guy, you... says Kitty Floss. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> <laughs> um, and in this area, we have created some... Uh, I have created a, a, a town that my, my players are going to be playing in tonight. They will be playing... <laughs> if I find this... <laughs> You're in our Discord. There's a map. They're going to be playing um, in a town called Howard, Howard's Cove. Okay. FYI, um, guys, that's in the Critical Role discussions general chat, but that's fine. Y'all are here. It's our secret. Is that Critical Role? Yeah, no! it sure is. This is fine. Steven, it's fine. We got to get a move on. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We're Sweating. doing a one shot. Sweating. It's fine. Yeah, okay. it's stressful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's okay, guys. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I'll copy it for you. Don't even worry about it. I got cool. you. She's on it. She's on it. She's beautiful. Yeah. Um, she's taking care of me when I can't take care of myself. Um, <laughs> So we, we're uh, heading to, um, as you will soon find out, Justin's character's hometown. Um, and he has a uh, dear, dearly beloved friend, uh, Brother Franklin, that they um, are going to be uh, assisting in some issues he is dealing with. So close. <laughs> so, so close, yeah. Yeah, so Steven's our GM for the night. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, so we, we could all introduce our characters very briefly, um, just because they are brand new to everybody. So because I am clockwise here, we'll go, I think the order we usually go, it'll be me and then Justin and then Chris. So... Hello, everybody. I'm Rachel, and I'm usually your dagger master if you're nasty, but tonight I'm your druid if you're cool. <laughs> I am playing tonight Wilhelmina Roan. Uh, she is a lovely, great fairy of the wildborn uh, community. I have made a mixed ancestry character, so she's part giant and part fairy. And a hundred percent good time. Um, I took like inspiration from like the great fairies from Legend of Zelda, but also majorly Chapel Roan because I'm obsessed with her right now, which is why I'm doing a little bit of this right now. Um, so she is a level five druid, warden of the elements, and I absolutely love her. Um, she's just a good time. She's not a bard except for in her heart, uh, but... I'm I'm ready to play her. I'm so excited, and that's me, um, Justin. 
Yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm Justin. I'm going to be playing Father Terrence, uh, a Seaborn Mixed Ancestry uh, Seraph. I'm uh, going to be kind of leaning more on the Gloppa side, but also got a little bit of Giant in my uh, my history. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to be, you know, talk, talking pretty slow, uh, moving pretty slow, uh, and maybe f flying around a little bit. We'll see how that works. Uh, but yeah, not, not really pulling too much from anywhere. Just I wanted a turtle holding the, sh uh, holding the shell and wearing another shell. Uh, so, got, got a lot, 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 lot of armor. A lot, lot, lot of armor. He's so cute. I love him so much. It's Terrence, right? Father Terrence. Yeah, Father Terrence. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's the heart of the group. And then Chris. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm Chris. I'm playing uh, John Blackstone the Magnificent. So my guy's kind of like a magician. He's a uh, school of war wizard. And he's Ridgeborn, and then he's got some mixed ancestry, but it's more so like he's human with a little bit of Simia. He's just got like a little more Neanderthal in him, I guess. He mostly just looks like a human guy. Chris said every um, character ever is going to have a little monkey, you know? A little monkey yeah, in have them. You got to have a, a smidge. Yeah, it turns out every character I play is evasive. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's about it. Yeah, my inspiration for him is like 1800s. Um, magicians Nic and stuff. Nikola Tesla. Like Nikola Tesla bit. stuff. Yeah, Harry Blackstone, OG magician. Mm. So it'll be fun. Dig so it, dig it. I'm dig nine it. feet tall. Nine feet tall. She's so tall. She's a very <laughs> tall lady. See, that's a very um, Kayla said tall boy group, and I want, yes, very tall. I mean, our, our regular ones are the small, small group. I know, we're mm -hmm, big boys mm -hmm, this yep. time. Although I have no idea, Chris, is, is John big boy? Little boy? Short He's key? like a six one lanky cool. wizard guy. Okay, we... funny. He's like normal. He's like in a normal crowd. He's tall, but with us, he's very tiny. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I... Sam Regal standing next to Travis William. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Everybody's like Sam Regal, clearly five eight, and he's like, "I am a big man." Like, <laughs> I am a big man, and I am nice. I need everybody to see this also, just before we get started. That because I get to play a character this time, I put all of my cards into a thing, and I love Ra them. Rachel is height. I'm high. She's so ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready, guys. Okay. Yeah, okay. nine great uh, backs. I'm a giant lady. A giant uh, woman. A giant woman. Lovely. Another Steven Universe uh, reference. Yeah. I kind of love those. Um, so we're going to be uh, diving into our adventure today. But before that, I wanted um, my players to... Uh, they had a little Session Zero off camera the other day. And they got to kind of talk about some of their history... I uh, myself was uh, busy with uh, some 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 dad things I was taking care of. Father's Day. Um, Father's Day, all that good <laughs> stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, so I let them kind of run wild after I got off. So I, I don't know all of it. So uh, well, I was going to see if they wanted to, to share some with y'all before we get started. Maybe give us another like little... 10 minute uh, info dump of what y'all guys got up to to lead y'all here. Uh, well, I mean, like, so basically we've been palling around since level one. We're level five now. We're saying that we probably built up those levels over the course of a year. What had basically happened was that, so I'm the great fairy. Oh, no, no! Steven. Mm -mm. I'm the great fairy magic. And, um, just... To I'm just, I feel like we'll just keep going and we'll we'll get we'll get you back as soon as we can. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Don't worry. I'm listening. I'm listening. The show must go on. You're already <laughs> in your persona. On, yeah. yeah. So I <laughs> just like old times, guys. Um, <laughs> I am a great fairy, and the the glade that I live in is near to a kingdom that's you know kind of come around recently, and all the knights have started popping up, like thinking that I can bless them because I'm a giant fairy. That's not how it works, guys. I'm just a druid living in my little stargazer lily that's all i'm doing out there but they keep bothering me but there is a really persistent one his name is stink um not link from the legend of zelda but stink and he he came around at one point and i was like dude this is not how it works and so he left but then he came back again and he, he seems to think that 
I'm just that he has to pass some kind of thing to get me to grant him a blessing. I I don't have what he's looking for. It got so annoying that I literally had to leave. I decided to go out on an adventure and I stopped around and piled around in a little town and stuff at a, you know, I was working at the Pink Pony Club and, um, and then Stink came and found me there and he was like, ah, oh, I figured it out. I have to defeat you in combat and then you'll give me your blessing. Oh no, we're all different places now. <laughs> like, we're just gonna keep doing it. Listen, we're rolling with the punches. So, I uh, he tried to fight me there in the middle of the tavern. Fortunately, there you are. You're very white, but you are here. <laughs> I'll get that fixed in a minute. Right. And Yo, that's, keep going, keep going. It's that's beautiful me. stuff. And then you guys can jump in with what happened next. And me being a swindly magician guy, I often steal money from patrons at bars. And Stink was uh, one of those guys. Picked a card, picked the wrong card. And uh, they were looking to kick my ass. So I took this opportunity <laughs> to get in there. And I threw a slumber on him, I believe. I threw a slumber on him. And slept his ass. Enters father. Uh, yeah, no, we kind of, oh, y'all kept going a little bit after I had to dip out a little earlier. Uh, so I don't recall how I was actually getting brought into it, but I know I was like helping out with that same situation, but, and I had, a uh, I had to go here pretty soon anyways. Uh, I was like, hey, hey guys, uh, y'all seem like y'all got some kind of problem. I got this boat. I'm, I'm leaving soon if y'all need a ride. Uh, I don't like how they're treating this little, little lady here. Uh, Nine foot tall little lady. <laughs> Father Terrence, you guys, he's my favorite. Hi, William of Dale. Good Hi, evening. William. Yeah. And, but especially because, so yes, we all agreed to go with you, but part of the reason that you wanted to go mm -hmm. to Howard's Cove. Yeah, I was needing to head back home. My, 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 my mom had passed not too long ago, but I, I just knew that they weren't really taking care of her will too accurately. Uh, I see Steven's making some eyes. So I don't know if he like caught that the mom was dead, and this was her shield I'm wearing. But uh, Let's see. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah. Aaron had died. Uh, they weren't taking care of her will, so we had to go back and you know help straighten it out. She really wanted to gift me her shield, uh, keep protecting me after uh, afterwards. And so uh, the, the, these nice folks here helped me dig that up and get on moving out. Yeah, he wasn't really keen on, like, when we got to Howard's Cove. He wanted to follow the rules and regulations, wait. It could have taken, like, four to six months. But, you know, I am, I am, I'm a, I'm a woman of the now, a woman of the present. And, you know, you only have so many years. We have, we, why put off tomorrow to what you could dig up right now, you know? So, uh, helped convince them we, we got the shell, but then we did have to skedaddle. And, yeah. Yeah, I think that was uh, for my character personally. That was kind of his like uh, awakening and becoming a seraph, um, uh, yeah, or seraph, uh, being like you know that was a rash moment. But he follows uh, you know a god of patience, uh, and so I kind of like was like he did wrong. He knew he did wrong. Prayed a lot, and had like a little bit of awakening. And, you know, decided to slow down from here on out. Uh, turtle. Yeah. Slow yep. and steady wins Patience the race. And he's, that's yeah. true. That's true. That's what they teach you. Uh, that's what they teach us in uh, grade school. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, but yeah, and I think that's basically it. I mean, we we didn't fill in a ton of gaps between the last year and stuff. I figure we slayed about fifty dragons and you know <laughs> yeah. rescued twenty seven princesses. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, we're rich as fuck. You're gonna start yeah. us at a store so we can buy everything, right? That's that's the move. That's the move. Now, see what actually happened is it was twenty dragons, but it was pygmy dragons. Oh. So they was like you stepped on like five of them at once. Oh. Um, you got a big foot. <laughs> Listen, dragons get out of the way. The best beware. A giant woman. A giant like, woman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it, for a pygmy village, you are loaded. Um, but a, a, a regular. We have town, like three coins. Yeah. <laughs> they gave us all of their wealth. It is three coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really were thankful for you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> like, mm. no, um, never well, doing work uh, with tiny then, people again. I suppose this is a, uh, we got a little bit of a background. We know our characters now. Um, so uh, we will kind of spiral now, kind of enter my story. Spiral? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we, 
we've been talking about Howard's Cove and whatnot, but I, um, after you guys had uh, came and took care of the things Justin needed to take care of with his mother's passing, I would have left and continued on adventuring, um, doing other things down this coastline um, until one day uh, Father Terrence receives a um, letter uh, uh, from a carrier from Brother Franklin, his his dear, dear friend from um, Howard's Cove. Um, and in the letter, it, it states that, oh, Franklin really needs Terrence to come and help him out. Um, after his father passed, uh, brother, brother Franklin became the head of his estate um, and their business, which they, they work in um, offsetting certain priced, uh, priceless uh, artifacts and whatnot, um, art and things that might pass through uh, Howard's Cove. Um, they work with museums along the most of the continent and they show these items off. Recently, they've been noticing items going mi missing. Um, although he's hired guards and he has good people that he trusts, he can't figure out what's going on and why these pieces are going missing, but he knows that if anyone can help him, his best friend, Father Terrence, can come back into town and maybe help him out. Okay. Uh, excuse me, guys. Uh, I just got this letter. Uh, my, my, my good pal, bro Brother Franklin, he's asking us to hurry, so I know it's important, uh, but I got, got some troubles back home. If y'all wouldn't mind joining me, or if not, if y'all wouldn't mind taking some time, wait for me. I'll be back in a couple weeks. Oh, Terry, we go wherever you go, darling. It's your brother, Franklin? Uh, in the church. Oh, uh, it's the religious you know, thing it's, again. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Did I hear timeless artifacts? Timeless artifacts. No. Maybe we could be part of the solution and the problem. Are you rich? Terry, are you rich? Are we rich? The dragonflies did not pay as we thought they would. They really didn't. Well, I, I know y'all know I don't worry about the money stuff. No, that's but... okay. You leave it. To oh, us, don't worry. Too. I'll worry yeah, about I'm that. I'm sure for you. he'll pay us whatever we need, but more importantly, we gotta go help him out. Oh, you're right. We should. Yes, absolutely. So back to the cove. Thick as thieves. All right, I guess we can get going. I slowly turn around and start walking. <laughs> He's walking real slow. <laughs> Say in like the town that y'all are in, we all are a little ways off, so y'all would find passage on a ship that would be pulling um, its way to Howard's Cove. So over the next day or two, y'all are uh, on board a, a ship. Um, simple passage. There's not really a lot of people on board with you, just the, the few crew members that are there. Um, but as y'all are traveling down the coast, um, why don't each of you tell me something that y'all notice? Ooh, Ooh, fun. Down the coast? For about um, two days. Along the way, I notice some people kind of surfing on some turtle shells, and I look at Father Terrence a little, like, see that? It's a little disrespectful. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to, so with that then, if that's disrespectful, then as we're traveling along, I hear Father Terrence say that, and I, like, kind of gesture, oh, Terry, look over there, and I distract him to look somewhere else so he doesn't see what I do, but I cast into the air, like, because this is a couple days, right, so I could recover yeah, all yeah, of it, yeah. okay, I, I cast Towering Stalk in the middle of the water, and this huge mushroom stalk erupts out of the water right where all of those people are and they just like it just flings them in every direction you're like oh like oh no oh goodness and i just like teeter away like pulling father terrence away like they can't be disrespectful to my friends you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't do damage to them it doesn't hurt them i'm not using stress to hurt good, them but good, it does good. like it does like Swing. blow them all completely away <laughs> and like the boat like is leaving with this giant towering mushroom stalk in the middle of the water there Right, I dig it, I dig it. So yeah, so uh, as as um, Willow? Uh, Willamina, but you can call me Willow, Willow. you can call me Mina, whatever you'd like. Okay, that. Mina, I like Mina. Mina. As Mina uh, kind of, uh, oh, check this out, Father Terrence. And then From over here, over you her have to see this. shoulder, she kind of flicks and just 
um, little like seeds of the the uh, mushroom kind of flitter out to the water, and as it touches the top of the water, it just extends in both directions. The roots reaching down to like the sea ground, and then the big mushroom top pushing everybody away. This is so good. <laughs> I, I don't uh, see what you're pointing me at, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get one more thing that we see on the coast. Hmm. I can do one. Uh, okay. oh, right. You do it. I you think you were pointing me like I'm looking off for something, like just that way. And I was like, "Is that a pirate ship?" And just like seeing like what almost seems like a ghost ship and just kind of fades off into nothing in the distance. Oh, we have to come cool. back there at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that at night, at night, um, we see kind of a faint glow out there in the distance. But then there, there's a faint glow all around us, and there are. What can we mix a jellyfish with? Like mm, maybe like a squid, like, like a, a giant uh, jellyfish squid, like mm -hmm. giant ones, all in the depths and stuff. And like they bob up to the top and everything. And my girls, my little ladies, which um, I have little fairies that dance all around me as part of my um my conjure swarm and nice. they go and like kind of dance on the tops of the jellyfish at night glowing i dig that i like that a lot yeah, yeah. i'll say like as they kind of like dance along them like every time their little like feet touch the jellyfish there's like a burst of color Amazing. from like it's yeah just yeah. very like fern gully. beautiful fern gully yeah, style. yeah, 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 yeah. I dig it, I dig it. Um, all right, so yeah, as y'all travel over those couple of days, you finally kind of start making your way in uh, to Jones. something. Ooh, Greyfax, wow. Ooh, that would be kind of crazy. Oh, um, anyway, we'll talk about that yeah. later. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, y'all would uh, be coming up to a cove and a set of docks that y y you Father Terrence are much more familiar with, but um, the other two of you are familiar with. Y'all rode in with him that initial visit uh, to Howard's Cove. Okay. Um, as you're pulling in, um, it is still kind of more commercial based, closer to the docks. You see um, some warehouses and a lot of uh, thoroughfare, but work. It's not really like business happening here. It is very much commercial work happening. Um, people unloading and loading ships. Um, you see that there is a nicer area of the uh, docks here, out, out further towards more of like the town square. Fa uh, Father Terrence would know that further down, that's where the more private kind of like um, ships where uh, you have more of like the... Uh, Richies. The Richies, yeah. You have your more higher class. And you would know that a little bit further down this dock line, Brother uh, Franklin had mentioned that he took it over the business. He owns a warehouse on this uh, on this uh, area of the bay, area of the cove here. Uh, guys, we might can stop here and just see if Brother Franklin happens to be here. You know. Honestly, I'll follow That's your cool. lead. Stop. Where are we stopping? Kind of just slowly gesture over to the side, and right over that way. Assuming now, they haven't moved nothing. I will say, like, because I am a very impatient kind of a fairy, I will say that, like, anywhere that Father Terrence goes lately, he's a little bit faster, and I don't think he really notices why. But I'm basically always using my wild touch to put like little it doesn't doesn't go super fast but little clover under his feet constantly and it's just kind of jostling him along a little faster <laughs> like constantly and i kind of like you know I'm like oh no wow the, the train like those airport so escalators oh my goodness oh. yeah exactly it is air yes it is airport <laughs> pathing and stuff yeah so yeah <laughs> Um, so yeah, as y'all head down the docks, you do know just from your previous visit that primarily this town is uh, Galapa. Um, you see that that this is really a tried and true. Originally, it was nothing but a Galapa village, um, and Father Terrence might have mentioned it to you before, but Howard is just like kind of a, a 
an individual that no one, it's folklore almost. It's almost myth that he, he ever existed, but Howard was the settler of this cove and he was the original Galapa that, that this, uh, uh, off uh, offshoot of Galapa kind of spring from if the stories are to be believed. It's like a, a Galapa Paul Bunyan. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Um, as long as it's, it's not a Galapa of, uh, Christopher Columbus. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, it's more of you know. You remember the zoo that was like, hey, we're gonna have this uh, turtle have as like as much uh, babies as he can. Like he he's he's our bull. This is this is how. I'm, I am not familiar with your for like you Daddy page. Do you not know what I'm talking about? I have I'll no idea. I'm, okay. I'm, sure, I'm sure someone else knows. This Galapagos turtle, they had to like save the species. Listen. Um, oh, poor guy. Oh, well. <laughs> he was having okay. a great time. Ha- okay, um, Howard. Any- <laughs> so Howard was the um, progenitor. Folklore. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's, really, that, that's folklore. People, okay. not everybody believes that that is necessarily true, obviously. Okay. Um. But you do see some other races, and uh, as you're kind of coming up. Place. Uh. <laughs> yeah. uh, Climb to come... hill to find a mate, said Gene Screen, a real <laughs> hero. Is that real? Did he climb yeah. a hill? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, he's solid. He, he's out there. He did a good um, job. He did a good job. As y'all are coming up to Brother Franklin's warehouse, um, uh, what what are a couple things that you notice that might be a little bit different? Because his is a nicer warehouse compared to some of the others you've been passing. Like a little maybe magical forklift. Okay, oh, that's going around. I can dig that. Yeah, a little docks. Yeah, kind of like moving the moving stuff around. What do I notice? This is harder as a player, I feel like, because I don't know anything <laughs> about this little world. I want to say that, oh, can I make, like, the entire side of the building to be, like, magically enchanted glass that you can see through into the building? Can we see into the building? Or is that to uh, get rid of some of the things you need to do for your story? No, that's fine. Yeah, you would be able to, um, like, as you kind of walking up, it's almost like, you know, the it's cell like phones this... where, like, yeah. the you can only see it once you get to a certain, like, position of, like, viewing it. I was so going like... to say it's magically enchanted, so it's almost like those screens. Like, mm-hmm. as we come, at first when we see it looks like a regular building, but then they, like, open it and they can, they're all just, like, looking out at us. And then, like, yeah. it changes to a sunset before changing back to a building, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 I dig it, I dig it. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. I'm just almost imagining, like, he, I assume Brother Franklin has some little ones running around, probably actually, like, being some of his young, little workers. You gotta right, have the okay. small ones, because, like, these, these shells get big, it's hard to get in the small places. You gotta have the young ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have yeah, child yeah. labor? A little, a little but, bit of child labor, but it's family child labor, which uh, is okay. That's okay. Uh, child labor, yeah. We grew up in the South, that's <laughs> fine, apparently. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's all okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah, so y'all are kind of coming up, um, you see the like general entrance um there's not like it's not commercial building you can't really like go in here and shop and buy things but they do have like their uh office where people are doing like the paperwork of like checking what's coming in and out and stuff like that um would you guys head inside i try to flag down one of the kids like hey hey, son uh, slow down uh is is, uh brother franklin here um, you'd see one of the, the smaller Galapagos kind of stop and he'd look up at you and he'd say, Oh, um, you mean dad? Probably. Your father is Franklin? Yeah, yeah. He's um, um not here right now, though. I'm here with mom. She's doing work in, inside right now. Oh, my. God. So, okay. so. I'm so sorry. Members of the church are allowed to take a spouse. That's just a that's just a Terry thing, then. Oh well, Dad ha- hasn't been a member of the church for for a little while now. Terry, is this news? Well, yeah, news doesn't get around too quickly. Oh. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh That's what God. dad says. <laughs> oh my God, it is crazy around here. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, uh, it, oh, it, is, uh, is, is Papa Franklin here? Um, No, not Papa Franklin, but, oh, but, but my mom is. She's inside. Okay. Would you mind uh, if we go talk with her? We can sit out here and wait till she's ready. I, I can peek in real quick. I think she could talk, though, and you'd Thanks, see him. Mom. Kind of like turn and like walk, and they waddle because they're kind of like I put clover under it, his feet too. Like, <laughs> I say, oh, well, let me, uh, help him out. Then he gets inside. <laughs> um, a, a few minutes later, he comes back out and he's like, Oh, yeah, Bob said, Come on in. Oh. Um, and then he turns and starts chasing the other little galapa that was like waiting, like impatiently for his friend to come back outside. That is so <coughs> cute. Oh my gosh. How fast do they run when they're chasing? They have a normal speed, right? Terry is yeah, slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terry's a little bit slower. They move a little bit faster than Terry, but you do notice as they're younger, their 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 legs coming out of the bottom of their shells aren't quite as long as their like arms yet. Ooh. So they do waddle still. Oh. So, so they can knees, only go so fast. Do their knees not actually bend or like their legs? It's literally more just like their leg pops out of the shell and just pops. Mm -hmm. like yeah, 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 yeah. Just like pop, 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 pop. Um, yeah. So they're still not very fast, but um, more than anything, you notice they're not very uh, uh, graceful. They're kind of clumsy. Okay. And you see one of them hit a box, and he kind of spins a little bit before he catches himself. Um, Slow down, son. <laughs> There's just turtles stuck on their back throughout the warehouse. <laughs> Totes, as they say, adorbs. This is and I so agree. This is adorable. That little voice was so good, Stephen. Okay. How All you right. know that? All right, like I, I, you see me kind of like longingly looking over, like, and all of my little fairies, because I keep um, my conjure swarm up most of the okay. time. And so my conjure swarm looks like, again, so conjure swarm is um, you basically surround yourself in beetles to reduce damage as your armor. Everybody that watches us knows this because Steven uses it usually. But mine are little fairies and they are all kind of like both me and all the little fairies are kind of looking longingly like we would really like to play tag but we're kind of shuffling off with everybody <laughs> and we know we have a duty to do. We're not going to go that way. But you hear some of the little fairies go, <laughs> like, and we're following. We're following. I'll be in like a bluish color and get sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So as y'all enter the like uh, uh, office area here, there is a small bar um, where like the counter is, where there is some paperwork and stuff kind of strewn about. Um, but most of it looks pretty tidy here. It looks like uh, what's on the counter might be just what's being invoiced like this day. Um, as y'all walk in, y'all do see a female Galapa. Um, she is standing there. Um, she's adorned with um, some jewelry, like kind of pierced through her shell, um, like r running along the edge. Uh, silver rings with like gold, uh, like big gold balls kind of set at, at the top of the witches, and they kind of fall to the side and rest on top of her shoulders. Um, and she looks up. Uh, Father Terrence, you would recognize um, Margie. Margie was um, a practitioner and um, someone that often visited y'all's uh, uh, church to help out with um, any kind of like uh, herbal remedies, things like that. Um, but she would kind of be looking down at her paperwork and as she slowly looked up. Oh! My Father Terrence, it's lovely to see you. Sister Margie, good to see you as I'm well. I'm going to exchange the longest of looks at John. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to keep listening. <laughs> oh, you're just playing cards. <laughs> Did you get Brother Franklin's letter? Uh, yes, I uh, was coming to help him out. Heard there was some thievery going on. Unfortunately, it seems so. I am checking over the paperwork now for our most recent delivery. It seems that we've lost some golden 
candelabras that we had coming through. That's unfortunate. Well, if you have any information for us, we can get to work right away, uh, with or without Brother Franklin. Uh, he seemed to say we needed to hurry, and I know that's odd of him. You would know correct. We we are a patient lot, us. Um, well, unfortunately, Franklin, he's he's at home right now, taking care of some things at our estate. But if you remember Gavin, and you would kind of remember a Gavin, it was always a, some. It was a face you saw around, but not very often. Um, of course. He is running merchandise for us between here and the most local city. Wilhelmina is Wilhelmina, starting to vibrate. Do you have one of those spells for dialogue? No. <laughs> like, I don't. Damn it. This is... Okay. Okay, we could do this. We could do this. Pa- Father, Ter- Father Terrence is telling us patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. <sighs> Gavin's been traveling with a new hire, Haley. Very friendly fairy girl that's working with us. A fairy but, girl? Like me? Yeah. And I kind of turn and show my wings off. Now again, how big is this building? I am nine um, feet tall. You're cramped. You're, you're a okay. little bit cramped. You're, okay. it's, it's, it's not like you're hunched over. But you're not tall. <laughs> you're not like full height here. This is um, she looks at you and she goes, What lovely wings. Oh, it's so kind of you to say so. Thank you. I love your shell. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh. No, Haley is a bit smaller than you. Sure. So she's not a great fairy, just an okay fairy. <laughs> That's a little joke between us. Oh, I love I Margie. I love that so much. I fucking love Margie. I would die for Margie. <laughs> okay, continue, Margie. She could go as slowly as she wants. <laughs> well, Gavin's out back loading up now. If you want to go through the warehouse, you can, or you can just circle around outside. We'll circle around. We might notice something else. Thank you very much. Nice oh, meeting you, Margie. Nice to meet you, lovely. You have a wonderful Pleasure. day. And I'm, Pleasure. I'm going to like do a little, like little magic moment and make her a little flower crown around her head. She goes, oh, how lovely. And reaches up and plucks a petal and eats it. I love her. I love her. Oh, snap. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, great. I'll use prestig- just prestigitation to make it sparkle for her. Oh, I don't know how to say that word. I think prestig- I nailed it. Prestidigitation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going around it's the building, back. Right? Is that right? Around okay. the building. Yeah, okay. Being a long way. All right, great. Yeah, fantastic. The mo- the the clover is moving you way faster this time. Like, <laughs> I was trying to be like, I'll get his legs. You time. get Terrence's yeah. hands. <laughs> I actually like can as we exit out. Can I see where the building is? Yeah. So so essentially, where y'all are exiting out right now, the like um, office area is connected to the larger warehouse. Um, so just off behind the building that you're exiting is the warehouse. You did see a doorway kind of off to the back right of, uh, where, uh, Margie was. Um, so you, you get the idea that y'all are just like right outside the warehouse here. It isn't a long walk, but the warehouse is kind of large. Some of the items they get in are bigger than others since they kind of curate to, to different things around the continent. Um... So as y'all kind of head out, it would be a simple just uh, right turn, right turn kind of situation to kind of walk around to the back of the warehouse where um, Terrence, you would know this, they're kind of like loading dock for like dry land shipping rather than over boats. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking out for anything out of the norm. 
I want to look around. I, I want to keep my eye out for the fairy. I want to see if I can see Haley anywhere. Like, I'm looking okay. around. So, like, as you guys kind of, like, start heading around the building, um, uh, what what are you kind of looking for exactly, uh, Terrence? I mean, there's, like, any signs of, like, a box have been, like, a, like broken or open where it should be closed or, like, marks on the boxes or... Anything that doesn't seem like it's just a normal box. I see, I see. Um, so as you come around, there's nothing that like pops out at you as like out of the ordinary. Um, you can kind of see where the different kind of line happens between the warehouse next door and and bro uh, Brother Franklin's warehouse. He does keep his place nicer, a um, little less grime, a little less. Uh, uh, water kind of like residue from the the docks itself he it seems like he pays someone to maybe come out and clean the area to ensure his business doesn't look bad um as y'all turn yeah <laughs> uh, as y'all turn uh, again y'all would see a, a horse and a carriage it's open currently in the back it doesn't have a cover or anything on it with a handful of boxes um, you would see another Galapa kind of walking out with, from a, a door that's open on the side of the building there, and he's loading a package. Um, and then you would spot a small flying fairy kind of hover out above him, kind of like dipping, dipping, dipping as she has a box as well and is carrying it. She's trying to fly it over, but it almost seems like it's a little too heavy for her wings. How big is she? Because this is a question for me. Fairies in this world, i am it's ambiguous. They could be most sizes. I think a lot of the time they are kind of like this big, yeah. kind of. Is that so her size? She, she's about three foot, maybe oh, okay, like two, okay. and a, uh, two and like, you know, 10 inches kind of thing. So she is a bit smaller. You would see that she has very large like uh butterfly style kind of wings okay um and they're just like pumping hard to kind of get her over um she's small kind of greenish in color and she's got like a little pixie haircut that's almost like a bluish kind of electric blue color of hair Amazing. it's just like a, a sprite of bright color okay listen so I, my wings, a lot of the time I keep them like fluttered down and everything, but I too have huge butterfly wings and like I have bright red hair, blue eyeshadow. I'm a vibrant ass bitch, you know? Um, I am going to pop my wings up fully, you know, code switch truly. I am like immediately like, oh, I'm one of you. And then I am going to kind of, uh, and as I like move forward, all of my fairies are going to rush past me as fast as they can to get to the box. And it's like little voices. And they're all like helping her to lift the box. And then I step forward and say, oh, darling. Oh, that looks so heavy. Can I help you with that? And I just like one hand, like kind of lift it a little bit. Like it's pretty light, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall, you can kind of like under like where she is and kind of like give her a little a little helping hand with that and as she like um, makes eye contact with me say oh my god i love your wings those are gorgeous you must be Haley. she'd be like yeah yeah can just sit this down real quick oh sure and, and then once you set it down you'd see her kind of like puts herself a little bit and like kind of flutter her wings to where they're like really big and she goes yeah. hello yes i am Haley. um is there Something I can do for you? What, what brings you uh, to the back of our warehouse? Oh, you know. You kind of just... see she's a little defensive, like once she realizes there's a group of three people standing here. Oh, def okay. All right. All right. I would like to. No, I'm not going to well, use well, that. While like, well, they're interacting with Gavin's in the distance, I'm just like slowly walking towards him with my arms out like I'm going to hug him, just slowly approaching. <laughs> you would see. Up. Uh, out of the corner of your eye as you're talking to Haley, you'd see Gavin kind of cock up. Oh and my god, no, absolutely down. not. I'm going forward with Haley. I'm talking to Haley. Fuck you guys. 
<laughs> like, I was gonna say, I'm gonna use levitate and help the other poor guys over there. <laughs> yeah, honestly, honestly, like as we're talking, like, are there things that we can help to help things move faster? Because both me and John, we are people of speed and haste, and like just being here is making my skin crawl like how slow <laughs> everything is going i'm yeah. like fairies have on average 50 years i'm gonna need us to get a move on you know like, we have each age two years since yeah. we've been here on this talk so um, i i'm going to say to Haley, guys i think that I, should i be out forthright with her or should I, she seems defensive could i oh well, never mind never mind i'll save it well, if, you're, if you're asking me <laughs> <laughs> oh down and see what she wants oh okay absolutely okay that's a great okay so i mean so she has just said uh what are you doing here right uh -huh. so what brings you to the back of our warehouse oh you know i'm just uh, i'm just a traveling companion of father terrence over there you see him visit he's so cute um and you know he's just visiting in popping in on a few friends and he's just seeing uh making sure that he's reacquainting himself to people but i saw a girl and i'm a girl's girl i thought i could help you a little bit you know i really can't i'd be happy to help you with the rest of these boxes Oh, and like she kind of like looks behind you. Just give me a quick uh, 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 presence check. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Oh, guys, we have. Oh, I meant to tell you guys at the beginning of the game, I wanted y'all to have an extra hope. So you start with oh, two, cool. but I wanted y'all to have three. Thanks. Love that. Thanks, Love thanks. that for me. Okay. All right. Perfect. Then I will. Um, real quick, guys, since we have the belt of unity, who is wearing that? Is that you, Chris? It takes uh, yeah, five wear it. hope to activate. So it's preferably with someone who doesn't utilize hope a lot for a lot of their stuff or generates a lot of hope. Do Seraphs use hope? Uh, yeah, for healing. So, okay. All That's right. It's probably best it. for you, Chris. Okay. So we have three. I'm going to go ahead and I want to... I want to use natural woman as one of my experiences. Okay. And it's meant to be for like nature stuff mostly, but given that she's a fairy, I think like just play it off very natural and stuff like that. This is a presence check, right? I'm really trying mm -hmm. to put her at ease. Does that work? Perfect. I love it. So it's going to be a, rel a relatively low DC. I'm just going to This is my it first in, ever in, player in... check, you guys. I have, awesome. my, I have my duality dice. Okay, here we go. Um, you just have to beat a 10 because yeah. in the background of you talking to her, she sees a very slow embrace about to happen between Father Terrence and Gavin. Okay. But she hasn't decided if it's an embrace of friendship. Or if they're going to fight each other. Oh, Jesus. It could be, it could be a wrestling move. Just okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, well. I mean, now listen. It's a success. But it is a success <gasps> with fear. Okay. Perfect. This is another thing I forgot to do at the beginning. So here, you, here are my crinkles. Here are my crinkles. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a big fear, too. This was a one on my hope and a 10 on my fear. But it, it was a it was a 14 in total. So, like, a 14 check. I succeeded, but with fear. With fear. Um, okay. Do you want the green and orange ninjas for your fear? Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. Do you want the, the black and one yellow ninja? I want the black and one yellow ninja. <laughs> <laughs> also. Right, and then you, you two fellas can can pick between the I'll remainers. I got red and white ninjas, ninja. brown and blue for... Right, and then what, what, uh, you want the green and orange or the white yeah. and red? I'll take the green. All right, all right. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Also, for my fears at home, I have lemon drops. These are these these are Wilhelmina's fears. The little is, bright though. shining suns. So, um, since you succeeded, but with fear, I'm yeah. keeping my little ninja for you. I wanted hope. Um, <laughs> you didn't get it. I'm so sorry. Um, as as you uh, kind of say that, and she kind of like looks behind you, she says, "Well." I appreciate that, um, but 
management, we've been having issues lately, and I don't know if they would take very kindly to just anyone touching the merchandise that we have back here. Not a problem at all. I'd hate to intrude. Absolutely. No, I'll just I'll just be over here if you do need me at all. Or if you would like to and my little fairies kind of flitter around me, dance on my shoulders, or like pulling at my hair and stuff. If you need any of our help, just let us know. Oh, okay. Um and you're just here to watch us? That seems... I'm not watching. I'm just waiting for Franklin. You know how these galapas are. So slow, so talky, so chatty. So I'm just waiting. Would you like me wow, to wait um... outside? Oh, no, you're you're fine, I suppose. It seems in about that time, uh, I would say Franklin and Gavin start hugging. Like you might know some of the people that work here, or at least some of your comrades do. Um... Yeah, you can you can kind of hang out with us. I just um, I, I would I'd hate to upset the Tan Tax. Um, they're they're quite a lovely couple. The Tan Tax? What's the Tan Tax? Oh, Fra- uh, Franklin and Margie Tan Tax. Oh, they, that's they, their they... last name. Their yes. surname. What a beautiful mm-hmm. surname. I love that. How long have you known them? Oh well, I've been working here for about three months now. Um, it, it's a little different pace, but uh, uh, Margie said they needed uh, some supervising happening here um, in the warehouse, and and um, Galapos, they, they do move on their own pace. They sure do. Um, I don't know how you deal with it between us girls. Well, I just don't pay attention to them at all, and I do what I have to do. Oh, um, classic manager stuff. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but but anywho, um, yeah, we're, we're just loading up. Um, I, I suppose I'll let uh, uh, Gavin catch up with him, and, and um, I'll get back to it. And you see her kind of like head deeper into the the warehouse. Deeper into the warehouse. Mm-hmm. Back to you see her like, yeah. Are we uh, like in the warehouse around boxes? So right y'all, now? so y'all are essentially there's like uh, what would be like a rising and closing like metal door, but not necessarily metal. Um, y'all are just inside of this area. Y'all aren't necessarily like too far into the warehouse, but you're like right on the edge of inside outside. Because there is a, a wagon backed up um, See, to this, is this my door thing. that's loading things into it. What is how much stuff is in this wagon? Currently, I have to reveal just in case. Oh yeah, sure, go right ahead. Um, as you cast reveal, um, uh, tell me what it is again. It is make... make a spell cast roll. If there is anything hidden within close range, the roll would succeed against it is no longer hidden. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and make a spell cast roll. Cheers. Eleven? Eleven? That'd be enough. Yeah. Um, what do you get, with hope or with fear? Uh, fear. Give me that fear. Does that fear. work for spellcasters? For spellcast rolls? Same yeah. thing, right? I would assume uh-huh. so, yeah. It's yeah. all the rolls, I think. Yeah. yeah. Except for reaction rolls, and I always mess that up, but reaction rolls don't accrue, so... Um, wow, I've given him two fears so quickly. Thank you, guys. I am so appreciative. I, so only took, I only took two fear at the beginning. I'm like giving you guys the three hope. Mm-hmm. I wanted to give y'all a little, a little edge on. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so yeah, you, you um, take a quick like glance around with your reveal spell. You kind of like wave your hands out to where um, this like fine, I imagine like magical powder kind of launches out. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> as it like settles on the boxes, um, where a like clasp and lock might be, you see little like runes kind of put into the boxes that are like what you might assume magically locking some of these boxes. Franklin, Ooh. I haven't turned around, but I, I'm just kind of going to apologize for my friends. I'm sure they're already going through your stuff. They're very hasty <laughs> fellows. Uh, <laughs> Gavin shakes his head. Oh, Franklin isn't here right now, Terrence. It's oh, that's right. You're Gavin. Y'all, we all look alike. <laughs> we do have similar faces, me and Franklin. 
The missus never gets us mixed up, though. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Like push okay. on you As y'all bit. are doing that, me and John, I am straight up leaning down, like my hair drapes over my shoulder, and I lean down to John, and I'm like, John, are we looking through these boxes? Let's try to unlock it. I was looking at Runet Lock. It are there other box. people? <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Haley is gone further into the warehouse. Mm-hmm. She's a little ways away. And mm-hmm. ha- are there any other people a- around us except for Gavin, who is distracted by Terry right now? Not, not in this, and not in this moment precisely. Now, oh, it's happening. <laughs> happening. John, do it. I'm, I, I'll if if anything goes wrong, I'll make a scene. You know. Watch, keep watch. You know okay. the drill. Absolutely. Yeah, and I am just like, I am not covertly, but I am just like, you know, like, <laughs> like looking around and stuff. Yeah, all that's happening, I'm just chatting with Gavin, but he's my, probably fully all, focused on me. Yeah. Also, my yeah, fairies, they're like chittering excitedly and secretly because they know we're up to mischief. And <laughs> they're like, yeah. yeah. While, while you weren't super familiar with Gavin, you recognize him and you've heard, like, had those like high buy kind of conversations. Your father, Terrence, you're well known in the community here. Gavin wants to talk to you. <laughs> hell yeah. Gavin, I heard there hell was yeah. trouble, but we're here to help. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to this conversation because he has some information for you. Um, but first we gotta steal. Yeah, I got two thieves about to do some thievery. <clears throat> That's okay, a lock pick trick. I have a question, though. Do you have a thing? Do I have a... Uh, Chris, uh, do you have a... Like, you, do you have a lock pick thing? A spell? I do have a, um, our runic lock, but I don't think it works for this. Oh. So you can infuse a rune upon an object oh. you are touching that oh. can close a lock. Yeah. Jimbo's good at unlocking stuff. Yeah, J- yeah uh, Jimbo was here. I do oh, have geez. a plus two to finesse. Yeah, Gene Scream, we're gonna help ourselves. Okay, a plus two, but I'm also <laughs> helping him because okay. I'm like giving him more time by being a super excellent distraction. And honestly, a very excellent. I am a good distraction. Like you're nine foot tall. I'm nine you're foot a tall. Whole three foot tall. My than wings him. are out as fuck. Like I'm, I'm acting suspicious, but you would be looking at me. You're yeah, not. Yeah. Can I also use an experience? What like do you for farmers' toys. I learned patience from Father Terrence here to the patience of a performer. Okay. Cool. I, I'm down for that. You can take yeah, advantage yeah. from Rachel helping you out, and then you can uh, use your exp- uh, your experience as well. Should I roll the sure help die for hope. him? The, or sorry, um, the, the the help die for him? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Be fun. So you just roll your regulars plus your stuff. Um. Two. Two on mine. So 19 with hope. 19 with hope. Okay, yeah. Um, I had the DC in mind at a 15, like they want to keep stuff in, but they don't expect uh, magicians to come in here, apparently. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, you head over to one of the, the boxes. Are you heading to small box, big box, medium box? Maybe the box with the fairy? The one that she put down. The fairy put oh, down. She put down. Okay, yeah. So you head over and you uh, are kind of like looking that over. You see off to your left, kind of talking towards the front of the wagon, um, is uh, Father Terrence and Gavin. Um, as you kind of come up to it, you kind of draw your finger around, and we'll say that using some of your internal innate magic. Uh, that you might have that kind of kickstarted your adventure into this magician of the road. Um, you kind of like work your way around the magic lock and you give it a quick tap tap and the top pops open. Um, looking inside, you would see um, gold. Uh, this gold is fashioned into three gold bars. Um, and on the top, they're embroidered with a um, old symbol would go ahead and give me a intelligence or no a knowledge roll. Knowledge roll. Hi, GFC Bob. <laughs> we're not Howdy. stealing from Terry's people. That's what we're doing. 
Just impatiently looking. Uh, uh, 21 with hope. 21 with hope. Awesome. Yeah. So you would look at this and like giving a quick like, where do I know that from? History books. These are old gold bars. They're not just simple run of the mill gold bars. These are from a kingdom that's come and gone um, and that is only written about in books anymore. This is probably worth almost triple of what the actual weight of gold sitting here is. John, John, what are you finding? We've hit the jackpot. I don't we got to get Terrence to come home way more often. I don't think we can. <laughs> John, John, I don't think we can rob his people. I, 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 I don't think it would be. I, it's. Do I want to rob his people? Rob them yes. A little bit? No, I, I think you know. I'd love to, you know, but I just don't think that it would be. It's, 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 it's averse to everything that Father Terrence has been trying to teach us about patience and kindness and goodness, and I just don't think it's a good look. Now, do I want to? Yes. Um, okay. Maybe I could use arcane runic lock. We'll rock it with our own lock, just in case. Just in case. <gasps> a if you come back for it, we know where it is. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Uh, as y'all are like having this brief conversation, um, Willow, go ahead and give me an instinct roll. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what is this related to? Do Am I allowed to ask or is it fine? You can, yeah. Um, while y'all were turned around and you started having this kind of talk, you're still like watching out, but you have taken your, your eyes off the ball slightly to have a conversation. Oh shit, I sure did. Okay, okay, all right. This is... Oh, that's... Oh, okay, this is very good. Okay, so uh, eight on my hope dies, seven on my fear, so plus four. Awesome. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, nineteen with hope. Nineteen with hope is amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, you are very familiar to this sound because you have little fairies that fly around you all the time. I sure do. But you hear wings flittering back from the direction that Haley okay. had gone. Close it, close it, close it, it. And my wings go up very like big. Luck? And I just start like <laughs> dancing. Like me and my fairies are like practicing a song. Just like, good luck, babe. Good luck, babe. Good luck, babe. Good luck, babe. Just like, we're just. <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah. Um, and as you're kind of like moving her, around yeah. a little bit, up from like more of the ceiling area of the warehouse, you would see Haley kind of zip, zip, zip. And then she would kind of stop flying kind of in front of you there so she can be eye level with you. And she's like, oh, well, I why stopped. didn't y'all tell me that um, you're here for brother, with brother, uh, for, for to help out brother Franklin? Um, I, I, I'm like, we're here to see brother Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, I'm going to look at Terrence and I say, is that why we're here? <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, Margie said that y'all had come up front and were asking um, oh, was about she that what was going gorgeous on. gorgeous little Goloth. I was so distracted by her shell. Yeah, yeah, that, that was that was Mrs. Tantac. Oh. She's um, she's quite lovely, yes. Um, but um, she told me that y'all were... And she kind of like looks around. I'm like, we're not really supposed to be telling just anyone about this. But I lean she told down. me that um, y'all were looking into the missing items that we were dealing with. No, that's on a need to know basis, darling, but I think you can be trusted. Yeah. I'm covering for my lie from earlier, okay? <laughs> we are so, spies so together, you know? To together, she stops and she's like, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I wanted to, and she kind of, now she's looking around. I wanted to give you something to see um, if, if it would make it easier for you. The money bags um, in my eyes go off. You see her reach like back and she pulls out like a, a scroll. It's large for her, but it's it's a normal sized kind of scroll. And she like hands it off to you. So it is smaller for you. Um, she says, this, this is a more detailed list of what we noticed that has been missing. <gasps> Fantastic. Um, that way, maybe if you run into it, you can you can uh, 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 get get a better idea of what you're seeing here. Mm. Um, and then we're gonna pause on this conversation real quick, and we're gonna hop over to Brother Terrence talking with Gavin at the, the front I of the wagon. Should I mark a scroll? Um, no, you. Well, I mean, okay. yeah, you can't. You'll remember like a, uh, because it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah, part yeah. of the. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, you. We, 
Go ahead. Yeah, uh, Gavin, uh, what, what can you tell us? Oh, oh my god, god it's back. <laughs> <laughs> Help, it's again. Do we go into town and meet up with Brother Franklin? Well, if you want to head that far out to his estate, go right ahead. Um, I, and you would know where the Tantac estate is better than anyone. I know that you spent a lot of your childhood out there with Franklin. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, um, a a as long as I've been working here, um, I, we've never had any issues. Um, but recently, I don't know if you were aware Brother Franklin's been running into some sticky fingers, we believe. <laughs> Hearing the same information from every turtle in this place. <laughs> but that, that's unfortunate uh, to hear. It very much is. But honestly, as a helping hand here, you might get more information from my manager. Haley Weisswing, and he'll turn and point at the fairy that your comrade is. We are winking to. at each other and taking a <laughs> stroll. Oh, hi there, Haley. I stand up and put the. I always think I'm caught in doing something wrong. <laughs> I like put the scroll behind my back. We weren't touching anything. And then well, Haley, Haley will look at you at that and be like, no, we weren't touching anything, were we? No, we were not oh. touching anything, Haley. <laughs> Good. Yes. Uh, Miss Manager? Um, yes. What can I do for you? I was told that you had information for us. I hold the oh. scroll up. <laughs> well, um, I did well, talk totally got it. to, to, to Miss Tantac, uh, Mrs. Tantac up front, and she let me know that you guys were here to help out uh, uh, Mr. Tantac with the, the Tantac. issues we've been having. Your voice got so deep there, and I think it was just Steven voice, but I was like, she's a demon killer. Okay. She's a demon. <laughs> also, Everyone like, I'm know. trying so hard not to make the Tantac for heartburn, like, joke right now. Zantac. Like, it's Zantac. Just, yeah, <laughs> pulled from the shelves recently. Anyway. Um, okay. So. Now, I, it's, you have to be delicate in this town. There is a hierarchy within the families um, now that being said, we have some ruffians that kick it around town. Um, no one would want to point any fingers because he's from one of the larger families and his sister as well. Um, but those children over at the, um, Timic estate. Timic? Timic? They're, they're, uh... They're hatchlings. Well, I don't care for them much. They they kind of get around town. They tear things up. Um, and with that name, they just feel like they can get away with anything. Um, I, I mentioned it to, to Mr. Tamtak, and, and he told me that mm, we probably shouldn't say that where any prying ears might be hearing. Um, now, I'll cover my that, ears with my hair. <laughs> that being don't, said. Don't, don't you worry. We're here to help. Well, well, we'll straighten this out. You've got quite a reputation to you, Father Terrence. So so if anyone were to, to straighten any of these kids out, I, I believe you could do it. If yes. we need to, we'll drown them. Don't you worry about it, Haley. We hate Whoops. children. I'm uh, kidding. Uh, we love kids. You're going to drown them? If She's like... But, but, if um, we need to. It won't be a hasty decision. I'm nodding solemnly. It's a baptize of sorts. It's a baptize of sorts. I'm going to just pretend I didn't hear any of this. Um, and I, I, we, 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 um, thank you so much for looking into this. I have work to get done. Um, Gavin, Gavin, and she'll kind of like snap at him. She's like, um, let, let's get back to work and let these friendly people back to, to what they have going on with their day. Um, we're already exiting because, like, she says she's got work to be done. And I said, oh, ta, darling, it's, we have to catch up soon. It was so good to see you. And I'm just, like, clovering him out the door. And me and John are, like, on our way. Like, slumps. Like, Friends, I just want you all to know. I'm not eyeing longingly at the gold bars. <laughs> yeah. 
What were you saying, Justin? I was, uh, friends, don't worry. I'm not actually going to drown any kids. It just seemed like we needed to go, and that that usually does the trick. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, That's yeah. the spirit, Terrence. Terry, I really am admiring your wit these days. It's fantastic. And I also didn't intend to drown any children. Let's That's go. good. Where, where are we going? <laughs> um, the Timic kind of State. State. The Timic State. Oh, and right you, this way. <laughs> you would know. It is actually okay. kind of close to town. This is one of the, the more famous, uh, not necessarily famous, more well-established families here in town. Um, so y'all, y'all spend a little bit of time walking through town to get to the Timic Estate, but not long. Um, but as you're heading through town, um, Justin, what's something that y'all see in town? In town. It Let's could be see. like the town square or just like a, a store you pass, anything you can. Uh, I mean, I think there's, I mean, there, uh, what comes to my mind first would be the church. I'm trying to get out of my talking slow mood. Uh, okay, um, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely think they have a church and they are like there in town square. And there's also like a stage out front. You would think normally like most churches or someone out there preaching takes too long. We get that, but it's still about patience. But they have actors out there just acting out, you know, various things from the histories and uh, of, the, of the religious books. Uh, but yeah, there's like basically a little play going on. It's still a slow play, but it's a play. <laughs> I love it. Um, awesome. And and you would see outside of that, like set in front of it, is is a crowd of middle aged kids to younger kids, middle-aged just like. Kids. Middle aged I mean, kids, so like you know, like uh, uh, early teens, 12s, too, you know? uh, not teenagers, <laughs> um, yeah, 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 like children, um, but not children, infants, toddlers, and not teenagers, yeah, 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 yeah. So like exactly, exactly, eight, nine, yeah, but they're eight getting teenagers. into it, um, and you do see a handful of other uh, uh, ancestries kind of spattered out there, and some of the others you, you see like a little human boy, and he's just like. Got chalk, asleep. and he's drawing on the shell of the of uh, the galapa in front of him, just like coloring. And he's like got like there's like a, a, a mosaic because he's been just like bored out of his mind. Is it like time. a picture of like an outside situation? Like what's the picture of? And is there anything um, natural like grass or flowers in his picture? Yeah, so it's kind of like uh, imagine like a little kid drawing like my family, Again. but it's like okay. him and his friends. So it's like the little galapa that he's drawing on, and then like him, and then like two other people, one galapa, one other like amazing. Uh, We'll, we'll say a, a ribbit on the shelf again using my because i i have wild touch as a dream uh, okay. so i get to just make like little harmless natural things happen so across the shell where the grass is like little clover appears and where the tree is it's like little moss there for the leaves and stuff like it just like sprouts out for him he's like <gasps> he looks at the color that he's got I say and then he nothing. He just keeps going. <laughs> I say nothing. We just keep walking. That was for me, you know. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. That was I love awesome. It. Yeah. Um, and so, like I said, it takes a little bit of time. So y'all see the church. Um, I would say that it's it's steepled, but not like a massive church. It's not like a mega church. I um, definitely think they use like the the church is more for storage, and then like mm-hmm. they, they're outside. It's a community. They're all together. Yeah, so. I was kind of thinking the same thing. It's like the, the the like internal part of it's more of like keeping the like storage aspect of it, but the church is very much built as like almost an amphitheater that is like on display for everyone to kind of take part in whenever. Um, so as you get to the Tarek estate, um, you would see, uh, the, the general guard standing out front. Um, it's just two human guards. Um, as y'all come up, they'll, they'll say, old, um, what business do you have here? Um, Father Terrence here to see Brother Franklin. These are my associates. Um, well, well Brother Franklin... Yeah, we're seeing the Timok family, but I don't remember. I don't know the name of the Timok family, like Mister and Mrs. Timok, the children. Um, are we at the well, wrong place? Am I? Am I wrong? No. I thought we were at the Timok estate. You are. You are. Are, are, are. Franklin doesn't live here, sir. Um, 
And if you're looking for the twins, they're they're not on the state currently. Niall and Rabian, they well, um go ahead. I am their new governess. I've heard that they have been just unruly little brats. And I've been hired from a finishing school off west, and I am I'm to educate them promptly, and you are wasting my time. I need to get in immediately. Give well, me a Lamina, performance check. <laughs> well, Lamina, thank you for reminding me. I forgot we're here for the troubled kids. That, I just had Franklin on my mind. That's help. That's help. That is help. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm worried about it. <laughs> right. Justin, give uh, roll her a D6 and tell her what you got. And I'm oh. putting I'm I'm putting my experience of I'm going to cause a scene at the Pink Pony Club into this. That's a plus one. So like, okay. I was, don't make me lose my temper. And I'm going to roll for that. <laughs> what was uh, one of the Oh, I add a five to it for the for the D6. Okay, okay. All right. So it is with fear, but it's a nine, ten. 11 <laughs> plus five is 16. 16 with fear. 16 will fear. Thank we'll God do you it. helped. Okay. Are those ninjas uh, for Ninja Turtles? One up. Oh, sorry. They are ninjas for Ninja Turtles. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you would see the garbs kind of like look you up and down. You were I'm very big. Tall and, I'm, I've, and I've furled my wings out at this point. Well, yes. Niall and Raven, they are a little bit of a handful, but. They're not on grounds, I will say again. Since their uh, 18th name day, they they don't <laughs> stay here during the day very often. Governess to 18-year-olds, great. <laughs> like... <laughs> um, and, but if you're hunting for them, you might be able to find them down at Howie's. Uh, it's the local Howie's tavern. Ever? Okay. Yes, yes. Um and if not there, they, they spend a lot of time in the woods just north of town. They like to consider themselves um, adventurers, I think. I would call them thugs, but, you know, to each their own. We are of a mind, friend. What was your name? I, I'm Tim. Thank you so much, Tim. I am going to tell the staff of the house that you are an incredible guard. Let's go, Terry. <laughs> then we're going. <laughs> we're just starting don't, don't to go. Don't mention me calling them thugs. No, I, I'll let. I'll give I him one that. for Tim. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, <laughs> so y'all, y'all uh, turn and kind of head back off in, into the town area. Um, y'all again traveling through town. Um, this time, uh, Chris, give me something that you would spot traveling through this Galapa town. Since you have the uh, ninjas for our fear things, and it made me think of Ninja Turtles, <laughs> the, there'll be manhole covers that are like shells in the oh, street. Okay. And there's just I like a it. sewer system under this town somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I can get behind that. So, yeah, y'all see like on uh, every like intersection of road, this manhole cover, cover with like shells on them. Um, I'll say that like they have slightly different designs on each one so and you have noticed walking through the town um although galapas all have shells they're wildly different in styles as far as like the way they decorate their shells um, that kid shapes that and colors it's a bit everywhere <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he really gets after it um but you would see that like some people kind of like uh margie had the piercings in the top like fin of her shell there some people have piercings like that they have adornments like um armor and stuff that hangs off of them a couple of the guards that you pass you see are like plated up in armor around their shells i would say um, with that description too i'm starting to like realize how much uh terence's shield probably means to him from his mother it's like a piece yeah. of her you know it is very much like you would notice in that to that point their shells mean a lot to them. They take pride in what their their shells mean. I'll give them a bro pat on the shoulder without saying anything, but that's what I'm thinking. Oh, did I have a fly on me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. I got it for you, buddy. I just see you patting him on the shoulder, so I, I also start patting him on the shoulder. You know, I'm very communal. 
Oh, is there something on this arm too? <laughs> I don't know, Terry. <laughs> just didn't want the other shoulder to feel left out. Panic a little bit and just keep walking. <laughs> Internally <laughs> panic. We're keeping you young. <laughs> I, I don't know. He could be younger than us. I have no idea how old or far as their Terry is. Age slow too, you know? Nobody has talked about it. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, I honestly, like you're minute. probably the youngest person in the party, most likely. As no. a fairy. <laughs> yeah, I'm five. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> <laughs> um, so y'all would come up to Howie's. Howie's is um, kind of an interesting building. It, it's tall. It's a two-story building. It's one of the only buildings you've seen with like a full wraparound like porch almost. Um, you see people sitting on like rocking chairs just the, like the rocking chairs have to have like dense like very they curved do. yes back. yes they very <laughs> much do there's like hammock seating that's also hanging along the edge of the the porch area there not necessarily inside i um, mean you see some turtles pull uh galapas pulled with their arms and legs and heads in and it just like oh that is so cute oh i think i'll be with some sitting like a couple barrels playing checkers and i'm gonna ride at home and cracker barrel yeah yeah very, very i love very that even barrel, in our one shot separate from our game we have still found our way in our beach cove setting we're still at <laughs> cracker barrel what's happening cool, guys right? texans can't be trusted <laughs> like all right all right so we'll say this as you walk in there's just a nice sea net behind the bar oh, beautiful okay <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love bring that. us back to that coast mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. uh but okay, so yeah, if y'all head into the bar, um, kind of looking around, uh, you, Terrence, actually aren't super familiar with Niall and Raven. You um, know they were children, uh, older kids when you left, but still kids. And while you interacted with some of the youth like through church with like uh, events and things, that wasn't your primary focus. Um. As you head in, though, uh, y'all would see a relatively busy bar. Since this is a port city and there's a lot of commerce done, um, you don't see, like, necessarily locals on the inside. You see more of, like, ship hands and stuff like that in, indoors here, drinking and taking time off uh, between their uh, rides. Okay, but where are the children? The young John, jerks. John, John I, I think this is your time. I know I'm not usually in a hurry, but I think you need to get on this st- get on this table and attract the youth over here with some good, wholesome magic. That is what you're my good friend, at, attracting the youths. Come on, Willow, we got a show to do. Absolutely. So, like, and I <laughs> I immediately, like, spin a chair for you that so, like, it's facing you st- a step up to the table and I offer my hand, like, magician's assistant style, you this know? square. And I'll yell out, like, everyone, feast your eyes on the great black stone and my beautiful assistant, Willowmina. My wings flitter and fluff. Uh, you and catch the attention of quite a few, few sailors in this uh, uh, tavern slash bar here. You are a very tall, beautiful woman, and a lot of these men have not seen a very tall and beautiful woman in a while. And I, I, I'm like taking full, all of my fairies too, all of them are mimicking me. They are all little like hype ladies and they're all just, <sighs> and um, we are right. like framing him. Like, Can I get a uh, presence check? Why am I not and- a bard? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will say... From John uh, or from me? From John, since he's the one... Uh, I am helping, right? This you is are a helping, full count yes. as a help, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I don't know why, but my presence is plus three. <laughs> Mine too, yeah. Well, y'all are talking about... Thank God. Really in there. Thank yeah. God, because you guys, I am pulling y'all in as my backup dancers during our, like, unity belt moment. <laughs> I use my experience and for my next trick. Yeah, definitely. Yes! And you're getting help from me, right? So I'll roll Uh that. Okay. Uh, If we need, uh, we haven't brought them up yet, but I do have prayer dice. I have four of these, or five of these. Uh, Yeah, I have, I rolled two fours and uh, three fives, or three ones, sorry. Uh, 
So if y'all need extra, you know, bumps on rolls or, you know. Wow. That's Seraph. Cool. Hell yeah, Seraph. So 22 with hope. Jesus. 22 with hope. Dang. Okay, Fine. yeah. Y'all um, are fully, this bar was just a bunch of guys just talking and cracking up. And then suddenly, everyone, your attention, please, as John hops up and kind of tosses some, some like, almost like, a, we'll say fire out of the sleeves, just like into the air. Um, uh, and y'all have the attention of everyone in the bar. Excellent. Um, That's what we want. I would say, since you two are doing this, um, Terrence, Terrence, if you want to make a instinct check for me to see if you spot any um, youth in the crowd. All right. What's that? And oh, oh. keep going. Keep uh, going. Now, uh, I know we're having a hurry here, but so I'm going to use my experience. So with great haste comes great responsibility. Oh, it's so <laughs> cute. I love that. I love that too. That's great. So cute. Uh-oh. Um, uh, that is 20 with fear. Uh, <laughs> but with the fear, I get to add one to my know, uh, know the tide. And so later I can add a plus one to a roll. Ooh, that's cool. Um, all right. So what I will say is great. you um, did succeed. So that's super awesome. Um, as you, uh, your comrades here, are putting on a show, something you've seen before, this would not be the first time you've seen an act like this. Um, and you know, okay, they're putting on the show. They can't pay attention to the crowd. And you start peering out through the crowd to see if you spot any of the uh, youth that you might have seen kind of hanging out with Nile and Raven. Um, and as you're passing through the crowd, you see a young, younger fawn, um, female, and you would recognize her uh, from a group of kids that used to hang out around Nile and Raven. Um, you see her kind of move forward and she's kind of watching for a second. Um, and then you see a young goblin lean in, um, female as well, okay. and uh, she whistles and kind of waves at Opal. And you see Opal, um, when she hears that whistle, is a very dis uh, uh, a distinct. Um, she turns, she kind of like pops up and turns and looks, makes eye contact um, with Lily, uh, uh, Lennon, um, and takes off. Uh, they Are we going for a back door or it's a side door you do know that the way this bar is set up is kind of interesting is the bar itself is right in the center of the floor with like everything going on around it and then opening out to that full wraparound porch there yeah sure. uh without just interrupting the show i do want to try to step out the front door and uh yeah you know, i'll let them continue with the show and see if they draw anyone else in just in My case God, this jimbo's there. at it again <laughs> <laughs> I just want to step out and then. Oh, oh, I'm wait. Take flight. Take okay. flight. Okay. They're like going, going, going. I don't know, but I'm going up into the air and I, um, an intimidating presence in the sky and just like basically stop children. <laughs> As a <laughs> wizard, I have like a little elemental pet that comes was, with my class, I guess. Can yeah. I send that with him? Sure. Yeah. No, Is, no does it have a way yeah. to communicate to you if he starts? If he starts getting like far at all, I want us to just catch up. I'll, I'll, I'll come back. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll, okay. I'll step out and my shield basically detaches, comes out over my right arm, and I have my other shield arm, and just basically, I like slow, like, it's not even a flap, it's like a slow, just kind of just gentle, and that just takes off like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The haste, the absolute uh, haste of it. I would, so I would say part of uh, your last roll, you um, did roll with fear. So as you step out and you kind of take flight and you pull yourself into the air, you do spot the two heads as they're moving, but they hit this crowd that is starting to form as they turn from the church just down the road and they see Father Terrence taking flight. They haven't gotten to see Father Terrence take flight ever. This is amazing. This is something new and, and purely holy, obviously a crowd starts to kind of form. And before you know it, you've lost sight of those two heads. They're 
working their way through that crowd somewhere, but you can't spot them anymore. Let's take a deep breath. I point out over the crowd to bring me the children, <laughs> and then I float back down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. What the Maybe fuck? Um, um, I need a presence check for that. I definitely oh, need a pre- um, presence okay. check for that one. Just get, get advantage. He's flying over the crowd. Just like uh, it's fine. It's fine. That's a twenty-three with hope. Twenty-three with hope. Oh, you you, would, you wild. would see. Um, <laughs> you would see everyone kind of start like looking around and being like the children, the children. And you'd see people just start grabbing kids. So, so, like, parents picking up their children and moving forward. They're offering their children. Father Terrence told me the the children. He must be the Pope now. Yeah, honestly, it's a He was he was was a well known religious figure, and he just started flying. Um, Turtles, uh, the Galapas don't fly, so (laughs) it's very unique. Um, Fortunately, since you did roll with hope. Um, one of the children that happens to get tugged over to you is that small goblin girl. They just picking um, her up. <laughs> they did, and she's she's like fighting it a little bit, and then she turns and and sees you, and she's like, "I I don't need anything from you. I I don't." It's I don't. okay. Come with me, child. I hold up my hand and just like, <laughs> I'll take her back into the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she uh, she like looks back as you're like like taking her away, and everyone's like. She'll be safe. Um, and you do have some Somebody's watchers. Like, uh, I heard of, I've heard them talking about drowning children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one heard that, fortunately. Um, but but you do get some looks, and uh, as you head back into Howie's, um, one Thank or two God. might kind of follow their way up onto the porch and kind of peek in through one of the windows to watch you. That's fine. If they're patient, they'll learn. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god! I'll come back and see how the show's going. <laughs> We're closing it out because we have we have like three routines of varying lengths, depending on what you need, you know. And you exited, and we immediately went into the vanishing cabinet, you know, where it's like just a straight up moment of like uh, he stands behind my wings and everything, and then it it he just ducks out from behind the way. I don't know. Chris, you have little magic. Good like, night, Kayla. Night, Kayla. Feel bad. Night, Kayla. Have a good night. Yeah. And um, but yeah, we've we've he has disappeared. I'm standing on the table, like doing a last little. Oh, oh, oh too kind. I do. I do want to see if we could collect some money though. Like okay. yeah. Um, he uh, leaves. This, he this... always leaves a, a like circular disc, and I pop it, and it is a top hat. Um, so what I'll say is, uh, with y'all's presence check last time, y'all made such a fucking outstanding presence check. Incredible. Um, you would in turn get some money. They'd start a handful of people would kind of move forward and be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say that you would get three handfuls. Wow. Why are we poor? This is good business. <laughs> yeah, y'all spend all of your money all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all, y'all stay at the most lavish <laughs> hotel. As like, y'all. yeah. As <laughs> we're, the, buying was... like we're buying all these different kits and stuff with these different illusions uh-huh, to set up. And... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. yeah. There's a lot of buy into magic. We apparently. put it directly back into our craft, you know, of the, like, yeah. All right. And as soon as like, I say, oh, you're too kind. And then I like just jump off of the stage and just like stomp back through the crowd. Nine foot tall, bitch, you know, just like through the crowd. Over to Terrence and John, do you just like appear there? (laughs) He was there the whole time. He steps out from behind Terrence. I've been here the whole time. (laughs) Um, Yeah, and y'all would come up and y'all would see that Terrence does have a a small goblin girl. Um, You would know that goblins don't get very big anyway. Um, and she's kind of squirming, but as you come stomping up with your nine foot stature, it's a wee bit intimidating and she kind of goes still in Terrence's arms. She's like, come here, little lady. Uh, I, I, got, I, got, I got this I got this little uh, Galapa that's lost her shell. I forgot what we were looking for her, but... Now listen, little Galapa without your shell, are you Nile or Raven? 
I'm not either. I'm also not a Galapa. I'm, I'm, I'm a goblin. Why do y'all have me? This is scary. I'm young. You can't do this. Um. How old <laughs> is this goblin? <laughs> Rolling. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say you need to roll. Go ahead. Well, do you, how familiar with the goblin race would you say that your character would be? I feel like I would be relatively familiar. It's you're, like, you're a fair, like a fairy. A fairy yeah. yeah, it's like a faithful kind of a race, right? It, you could tell that she's like later teens, probably somewhere between like 17 and 19. Listen, um, you're just at the age that I was when I started getting into trouble. Three to four. <laughs> I know that she is the age of like kids who start doing some rambunctious stuff. She's not a baby little tiny toddler child. I like give her a knowing glance. She she'll her eyes will widen even bigger than they were before, and she's like, "What do you want from me?" I don't know what we want from you, Terry. What do we want from her? Oh, I, I like I said, I forgot. I I I'll remember that we were here looking for the rascal rascally kids, and these went running as Did, soon as something happened. Why were kids you running? Watched, yeah. Oh. Well, it was, well, this is some police stuff, you guys. We're like, <laughs> if you didn't do nothing wrong, why are you running? <laughs> I, I was just getting open. We're, 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 um, it's none of your business. You don't need to know what we're doing. Hey, hey, that's just fair. See that sounds fair to me, chat. honestly. Uh, weren't we, weren't you going to be teaching the kids from the family's estate? Yeah, but this isn't one of them, Terrence. This is a oh. goblin girl. She got to take us oh, to go see her. Do you know? I'm so sorry. I'm a governess. Do you know where Niall and Raven are? Um, I'm I'm a newly hired governess, and I'm supposed to be teaching them to not be such horrible people. I, I. If you let me go, I'll tell you where they are. Oh, you're, Is you're she free. lying? <laughs> oh yeah, a hundred percent. We're like you were always free to go, but yes, please tell us. Oh, okay, you just I I don't want to get in trouble for what happened. Oh, excellent! Ears perk up. All of the little fairies are ooh, like. <laughs> oh, what, what happened? Go on. Oh. Immunity, sanctuary. Months. See, Raven, she started learning magic and then she learned how to unlock those lock spells that, that the that the tan tantax use on their on their merchandise. And then and then and then Niall said that it was a really good idea just to take some stuff, but not a lot, just a little bit, just a little bit off the top. And then and then and then it's all gone. Oh my darling, and I just sweep her up into a hug and I'm like, I know it's so easy to steal just a touch too much. Like, and I'm just crying. I know we should have took one. <laughs> <laughs> no. But but you you won't you won't tell them that I told you, right? Absolutely. We're just gonna drown them a little. What? <laughs> no, it's no, a joke. Oh, it's a joke. Me. It's a joke. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry, dear. We're not going to hurt them at all. We just need to get back what they've stolen so that maybe we can have some stuff, you know, a little tete a tete. They they like to reward you if you find their stuff. It's a really good deal. You should have done that. Honestly. Lenny no. starts sobbing. I just let her know, like, as I'm just spinning her, like, honestly, if you, what you should have done was like, oh, we found. <laughs> <laughs> it and collected a reward. I'm just giving her the, the, and I like kind of pat her on the head and do a little thing to dry her eyes and say, okay, now you have a good, now where are they though? Well, they're, they're in our, they're, they're out in the woods where we normally go to hang out. Um, but, um, when we went back this morning with Niall and, and Raven and Finn, um, all, all of, the stuff that we've found and found and, and we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna give back i swear mm -hmm. um, that's right it was all gone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and 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 right now we've just kind of been searching around seeing if we can find where it went someone must have followed us out and someone else must have taken it from us who do you think it was 
I didn't think anyone could follow us that deep into the woods. I really don't know. Mm, okay. Has there been anyone new to town? Um, not not that I can think of. But if you're willing to follow me, I'll, I'll lead you out or towards there. I, I just don't want them to know that I told you where they are. Sure, let's go. Come on. But as we're walking, I'm going to like unfurl the scroll that I've been given and I'm going to start listing it off like the things that they've stolen and get her. I'm going to gauge and see if she's like shrinking like, yeah, we did steal all that. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's like you start saying like at first you say something and she's like, I mean, maybe Finn took that. Uh-huh. And then, like, as you start listing it off, she just stops making excuses about who took what. And it's just like, uh-huh. that was there, too. Yeah. And that was there, too. Yeah, I've just broken her. I'm good cop and bad cop. Like, she's <laughs> I have, like, my own list I'm making of things I could possibly find in <laughs> yeah. that part. <laughs> Gone missing. <laughs> like, uh, eyes are gleaming. Yeah. All right. So that's what this list is, though. It is the stuff that they've stolen. I assume like a fairly long list and she's it's, basically owned up to all of it. Yeah, there's probably know. about like 25 items on the list ranging in sizing of what they have snatched over the uh, past like three to four weeks. Um, now, boys, and before we go too much further, you know that I love a little bit of trouble. I'd love to correct the issue ourselves, but we know where it went. Maybe this is the time to turn it over to the authorities. Where's the showmanship in that? I agree, John. Let's go. <laughs> that way, too. I want to be the first guy at the horde. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we need to set this right for Brother Franklin. He asked for our help. Oh, that's right. Oh, Brother Franklin. Okay. Um, And we're just going to keep walking forward now. And yeah, it'd probably take the better part of like an hour and a half, (laughs) almost two hours. She leads y'all into the woods. Yeah. And she leads y'all deep into the woods. Are the woods like dense or is it like kind of just, you know, sparse trees? It's... Uh, variations so like certain areas are a little bit more sparse with like um, like little kind of like not necessarily valleys but like openings here and there meadows Um, and then there are some areas that she leads y'all through that you as a glapa um, have a little bit of issue getting through but you notice that some of these areas have already kind of been widened out a little bit just not quite as big as your shell is the whole way Uh. in I am dotting the path with little flowers that sprout up because I will not get lost in these woods. Okay. Awesome. So I'm making I dig a it. Hansel and Gretel little flower path. Yeah. I, I, yeah. So as you're going to begin, Lenny's like uh, telling y'all which way to go. Like, duck here, come through here. Um, and then as y'all get a little bit closer, she's like, I, I just, I really don't want my friends to know that I told. Um, but if you just keep heading forward here, there's there's another little clearing and a, and a small cave that we are keeping everything in. Um, you'll, you'll probably find them there. Do, do you think I could just maybe not come with you guys? Uh, do you want us to take you in, like as if you're a hostage and you're having to turn your uh, or forcing you to turn your friends over, or do you just want to run back? Um. Maybe I can just run back and y'all just followed Opal here. I use like Arcane Door or something to shoot her back. Ooh, I think it's uh, for you, right? Oh, is it just for me, huh? Yeah, I'm going to lean down just briefly to her. From my nine foot stature, I'm going to lean down and I'm going to take her chin in my fingers and say, Oh, you've been such a good little girl. Now, I, I think it's a very good idea for you to go home, but I need you to know, if we move forward and you're lying or you try to fuck us, I will hunt you down. Now, be a good little girl, and I'm going to pat her on her head and send her off. I'll she turned. Her. Yeah, go ahead. Like, I, I, I'm sorry if we scared you, especially with what happened there and what happened back in town, but... We needed to make a point. We're trying to help people out. If this is a trap, I'm going to kill her. Like, this had better not be a trap. I'm going to shake the kid a little bit to see if I hear any coins jingling. (laughs) 
<laughs> we flip her upside down and jangle like, her. We're all not over. No, we don't. No, we jangle, don't. just just fear, just solid fear. As soon as y'all stop fucking with her and stop talking to her, she turns on her heels and she's bees lying. John, do you have recant? <clears throat> recant, recant. I do not. Okay, great. No worries. Oh, I do. Uh, I, uh, do ha- does it cost anything? Uh, yeah, spend a hope and have a target mm. make a reaction roll and a failure. I regretted my threat to the yeah, child yeah. a little bit, but not enough to spend <laughs> a stress, you know, or a hope, you know, it's fine. Um, so y'all keep moving forward uh, about another, like, I want to say, like, 50 to 100 feet oh. into the woods. Um, and you're starting to kind of be like, this little fucker, she was lying right as you come up to clear. And just on the other side of that clearing, are y'all moving stealthily at all through the woods or anything? No, I I'd don't say think I have so. A glowing yeah. thing to like light the way for me. <laughs> like okay, I'm okay. not doing well. We're a beacon. I'm a I'm a huge lady. <laughs> not an outdoor you know? guy. Fair yeah. enough. Um, as who who's leading my party? Who would be like the head of the the, the line here? It's like, not oddly, me. I'm walking Probably. past normal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. I'm I'm a little upset. People were stealing from my friend. I'm getting a little amped up, but you know, I already had like a big thing back there happen. I'm I'm a, I'm a little on edge. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we we have uh, Father Terrence pop into our clearing first, um, and right across the way you see an opening to a small like cave cavern kind of area, um, yes. and standing in that opening, facing inward. Um, you see the silhouette of that fawn girl that you had seen at the uh, Howie's earlier. Opal. 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 Um, that's our story, by the way. I say it. That's our story, by the way, boys. We followed Opal here. Let's not turn over our little friend. Good call. Good call. Um, and you would kind of hear her, not necessarily exactly what she's saying, but like talking down into the into the cavern. Um uh, you'd hear just like a really quick guys we've looked in there it's not in there we need to we need to head home and just drop it we just need to drop it. i want to stop here oh you no you're good you're good you go i was about to end up like demanding voice do opal. that do that this is yeah. your home opal you need to help us you would see just straight as a board kind of stiffen up and she would look over her shoulder at you recognize you and be like well what help with i and then she would turn and sprint uh uh wow. absolutely <laughs> fucking not she's not it's it uh, it's it's like going away or into the cave away like so like here's like the mouth of the cave here and she was standing here she would turn and run into the woods or try to i mean I used mystic going, tether. Her, going in the cave <laughs> <laughs> So she she's not going into the cave. She's like going no. off into the distance. She's so the I woods. have I into the woods to grandmother's house. Sorry guys, it's a musical. <laughs> um, uh, so here's the thing. I have like vicious entangle, but I don't think that that is gonna be what we want to do here because it. I think it hurts her. I think it has to hurt it her. It does. It does uh, hurt. Mystic I mean, tether doesn't hurt. If we want to use it. Up. Mystic tether her. Yes, okay, so I want to uh, make a spell cast roll against a target within far range on a success. They are temporarily restrained and they mark a stress. Okay, yeah, I mean, go right ahead. Um, the spell cast roll. So, using your uh, knowledge, right? Is it your knowledge as a wizard? Okay, yeah. great. 17 with fear. Oof. Yeah, Shit. you, you uh, uh, will reach out and like snap her so you do catch hold of her um what does the tether look like yeah what does the tether look like tell me kind of oh the tether for me looks like kind of like magical beautiful flowers that's kind of like my guy's aesthetic as a magician okay very, like flowery with everything it's so almost curious. like the like cloths tied together <laughs> almost like a t- uh, tuxedo mask with like his like rose whip thing yes yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, you uh, you send that out um, and you uh, fling that towards Opal as she's turning to run away. Um, it would grab one or like wrap around like one of her lower, like uh, maybe her left ankle, 
um, and she would stop flat. So it'd like pull her, she'd kind of fall face first down and you'd see her roll over and she's just like waving her hands in, her, in front of her. She's like, no, 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 we don't have anything. Please just leave us alone. We know you, we're marching forward and now towering over her. We know you don't have anything, you little twit. It's about what you did have. I don't know what you're talking about. And she's just going to start lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't know what we're talking about. And I pull out this scroll and it down. And you can just see all of the different items that, like, we know that they stole at this point. And I'm just listing it off. I'm like, an urn of dubious intent. A fan of... Like, <laughs> every time you say something, it's like another punch to the face. Yeah. She's like... <laughs> She's like, it wasn't my idea. I swear it was Miles and Raiden, but no one wants to ever tell them no because of who their parents are. Yeah. Well, I'm their new governess, and I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> it's, it's time for them to learn some manners. Now, where are Nile and Raven? They're in the cave with Finn. Who's Finn? Finn the human. Oh, my God. Where's Jake? I don't know who Jake is. He's the dog, you... And I don't even care, and I'm just marching to the cave. Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to march straight for the cave because she was talking to someone. There's people in the cave. I'm just going to grab them. We have just <laughs> everything here tonight, guys. We have, like, Steven Universe, <laughs> Adventure Time, <laughs> Sailor Moon, Ninja Turtles. We're doing it on Mario. <laughs> like, hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> this is so fun. Um, this is like Nickelodeon, guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> So y'all work your way kind of down and it's not very far. It's kind of a, a tight kind of like uh, tunnel right away, maybe 20, 30 feet. Um, and then as soon as you get past that, the cave opens up quite a bit to a small like cavern that's built in. Um, not necessarily built in, but that is just kind of naturally formed here. Um, and as you guys come in, you would see two galapas and a human and they're talking and they're kind of like positioned in like they heard some stuff going on out there you know um so they're positioned in like almost like hey we'll you know don't come at us we'll fight you um but they're they're just kind of waiting towards the back of the cavern um but when you guys walk in can i get everyone to go ahead and just make a instinct check God damn it it's trapped Only an 11 for me. God damn it! It's... I'll, I'll throw the, I'm going to throw the plus one from uh, my Know the Tide. Oh, in there to... oh, no, it doesn't matter because it doesn't impact the hope die, right? Because here's the thing. It was a great roll. It was a 23, but with fear. Before mm -hmm. I add anything, I still get to add a, a one. Oh, instinct? Yeah. 27 with fear because I rolled an 11 on the hope and a 12 on the fear. Jesus Christ, 27 though. Okay. Of your die. <laughs> what? what did you get? I got a nine with fear. Okay. Jesus. So, <laughs> are these reaction oh rolls? These are reactions. Okay, okay. So, Great, so it's cool. not building towards my total. <laughs> Thank God. Um, as you guys walk in, uh, Bye. Bye, William. It's so good to see you. Watch the rest of our game later if you want. It'll be on yeah. YouTube eventually. On Friday, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing the end on Friday. Bye. It was so good to have you. <laughs> I'm going to get um, us into some shit. I'm going to cause a scene. Into, it's about to be a problem. So uh, as y'all walk in, um, Terrence and John are focused in on the, the kids at the back of the uh, entryway there. Uh, or back at, at the back of the cavern there. Kind of like... Uh, you know, we're ready to fight. Um, now, Willow, when you walk in straight away, you notice that towards the top of the cavern on the left-hand side, there is another smaller cavern. And just at the peak of that cavern, you see shining bits of metal. Can't really tell what it is from the angle that you're at, but there's something up there. Is there a way easily up there? Um, not easily, but as you notice that... Uh-huh. Um, you're looking there, that was your, you passed the check. The fear aspect is um, 
as you're looking there, out of the corner of your eye, oh, no. you see something kind of flicker, oh, hanging no. off the top of the ceiling. Oh, no. And when you turn to look, swooping down at you three, because y'all are at the mouth of the cave there, coming in, y'all can t go ahead and take a look at the spoiler I put is, in the Is Discord this going to be combat? This is combat. Okay, then I will oh. go ahead and oh. combat music for you. Oh, you got it. Great job. Well done. I'm the, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Cool. Bye, I'm Will. Together. I'm, I'm ready to go with one of my other domain cards. Oh, I know. Yeah, honestly. Oh, whoa. I got to put my, my I am your shield. I'm going to be busting out right away. I am your shield. I know. We didn't get a short rest. I thought I was going to be able to get some health. Okay. I don't like here after streams. <gasps> oh my gosh! We're it's fighting a, a flicker fly. You're fighting a flicker <gasps> fly. Um, I'm gonna get a swing and I'm gonna make a sword out of it. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I think he said he had to run to the restroom. Oh god, I got it, got it. Um, yeah, no. So as you turn, you okay. see this treasure, and you're like. These fucking chump kids, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. The treasure didn't I actually, anywhere. you see me beginning to cast a spell, like, because I was preparing to do my stalk, which would create oh, okay. a stalk that would let us climb up as soon as I see the flicker fly and the spell kind of fizzles on my fingers. And I, like, say, oh, boys, it's going to be a problem. So, um, as we kick off combat, you did spot it, um, but there is something that the flicker fly is going to actually do. Okay. I need, um, as we start off, to everyone make an additional instinct uh, reaction. Okay. Oh, whoa. God, I can't roll anything with hope. Okay. 18 with hope. Okay. That's a 13 with fear. You make okay. me add anything to that? I can add that D4 to it if you need. Uh, what do we think that is? Do we think it's a 15? Oh no, it's catching us off guard. It really I'd say yes. Long. I'd say let's add the four to it. So okay, let's make cool. that a we'll 17. Add, yeah, we'll add one to my D, or, yeah, the D4 over to you. Or the, it's a four from the D4. Great. Yeah, so I have two fours and two ones. That's one of the fours. Okay, so 17 with with fear for me. 17 with Although, fear. Although, again, well, it's I don't a, it's think fear reaction. and hope don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Can we roll another roll, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, an an uh, this will be an instinct as well. Uh, 14 with hope for me. 14 with hope from you. Yeah, okay. okay, bump up the one more. If we think it's that 15. I, I, I think it could be the 15. I think it could be yeah, 15. Four, 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 Just... I'm going to throw one, plus one your way. Yeah, Just, right? Yeah. 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 All what right, was the so difficulty? The difficulty for the flicker fly was 17. Oh, um, no. So okay, well I, well, I got mine. Thank you, Justin. Parents are going to pass. Parents, um, wow. Oh, no. And then... John, what I need from you is uh, what is John truly afraid of? Ooh, what John truly is afraid of. Um, okay, so John is from a poor territory that is like a buffer zone between two warring nations and i was a soldier okay. when i came of age and so uh john is afraid of war afraid of war i love that that's an oh, awesome a war wizard <laughs> a, a war wizard afraid of war afraid of what his own talents can produce um all right i love that so i just needed to know that um keep in mind the flicker fly knows your fear you don't know this but he does um, oh, so scary. As you all kind of, you see Willow kind of shoot up, looking towards the ceiling, and you hear the buzz start. The wings, as you all kind of shoot your eyes forward, go from a beautiful, long, uh, uh, elongated wing to these blurs that are beyond even vision that I can just not keep up with it. Um and it turns and it uh, is going to drop from the, the ceiling into a flying position in between um, the three of you and the three kids behind you. And you see when 
it falls into that like flying position between the the two groups there the kids all instantly kind of tur like kind of are uh, terrified of this monster that has just kind of landed in front of them all kind of turn the two galapas will actually pull into their shells and you see uh the human kind of tuck in between the two as their shells kind of like fall in together mm. um but so so he is this flicker fly. We are in this cavern. This uh -huh. flicker fly is in between us and the kids. Uh -huh. So if anybody has anything to do to move this guy or protect the kids, you know, we gotta we gotta focus that. You got it. I flick out my uh, my shell, start you know, pop out my wings basically, yeah, uh, and I'm yeah. just gonna lurch over towards right in its face and you know come down swinging i don't know what this thing is but uh just you know what i've quickly assessed seems bad for the kid seems bad for us yeah good bad good for the gander good for the goose um no uh remember you have my rune ward up okay that's active and everything so you have that um Okay. Yeah, so that's a D8 uh, for like any damage. Yeah, after. anytime you take damage, you can spend a hope to reduce it by 1D8. Uh, if you okay. roll an 8, okay. we do something else. Okay. All right. So, what? And you're going to kick its ass? Yeah, I want to just basically fly and like lurch right at it. Yeah. Um, awesome. I don't know if that works, I'll go in with the hall um, Hallowed Axe. Oh, that one under there. 18 to hit and 18 uh, will with, hit uh, with, with hope and 18 with hope yes awesome so you will hit I need details used to my other die uh, <laughs> wrong game <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, 21, yeah 21 magical damage uh, and then I think that also I added d8 from once I was using my wings uh, it costs a stress and eh, why not all right, uh, you said twenty-one. Uh, tw twenty-two with the uh, extra, or, yeah, twenty-two with the extra uh, D eight that rolled a one. Oh. All right, explain how it looks as you uh, lurch yourself into battle there. Yeah, so basically, like quickly, shield arm up, starts to flapping the back. Uh, shield detaches. Uh, Y'all standing qu uh, close behind me. Uh, you see my open back. It's a little gross. Uh, oh, but, you know, ooh, yeah. One, one, one hand just come down with the axe around right on this bug's head. And, yeah. yeah. So, like, as you're, like, swinging down, like, right at the head of this uh, uh, flicker fly, it is very fast. It shifts slightly, so your axe doesn't necessarily hit it in the top of the head, but it grazes down its chest as it kind of mm -hmm. flutters back just a touch. Okay. So that was the first um, attack. Is Oh, is that, it? That, free rain can it's, i do something free, yeah. i want to do something for... that won't won't trigger i won't roll for it okay so okay. i am going to use my druidic shape okay? okay so i'm using beast form i am marking a stress um okay. and that is going to allow me to now transform into a magical creature of my level or lower that is going to, i'm going to use it to become um a a giant eagle like a, a okay. great winged beast can i be a giant falcon i want to be a giant falcon yeah and for sure so we're pretty close and there's not like opportunity attacks for the most part so i'm just going to fly over like up into the air grab onto the kids because i can carry okay. one to two people and maintain flight i'm grabbing okay. the kids and i'm going to fly Oh, what, what was that? There's three, so kids. There three kids. There's three two, kids? Two, two, two Guapa and a human. And a human. Pick your favorite. Fuck that kid. That kid is having an adventure time. He could fight like that little boy human, right? Which ones are closest to the flicker fly? Um, I mean, they're all relatively the same distance. The two Galapas are in their shells, kind of like tucked against the wall. They've kind of fallen once they're retreated into their shells. And the human has like moved underneath them like a little teepee yeah, like okay, okay well he's about to get uh he's about to get seen because i'm gonna grab the little turtle guys and i'm gonna fly them 
I don't want to put them on top of that edge because I feel like that would be just a recipe for them to get attacked by the flicker fly up there. Like, because he can right. fly. So I'm just moving them over. Like, should I put them on the edge? I think it's the most cinematic thing. I put them up there. They I'm putting them up there on the edge. I'm putting them up there on the edge. Okay. Um, um, as you head up there and you're like dropping them up. Uh, off up there by that edge, um, the both the shells will hit and they'll like rest for just a second before you see like one of the heads pop out. Mm -hmm. It's a female uh, Galapa, you'd assume Raven. Um, How many fucking people are in here? I no, thought... no, 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 that, that was one of the people you oh. picked up. Oh, they were, were in their shells. shells. <laughs> oh, they, they were, were in, in their, their shells? shells. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 I just have two rocks. I'm dropping them off, and, like, I'm just staring them down, like, really fucked up, like, mad as shit at them. But I think that that is okay for my turn for now, because... Um... You, you do see up here behind them a mound of glittering different... Uh, objects. Yeah, money eyes immediately. Um, on my way back down, I don't think it is a, I don't think it's an, I guess that is an action to do that. It's not really clear to me always, like, what is and is not an action. Did get a unity belt off? Do you have the hope? I have six hope right now. Okay. Yeah. If we um, want to use it, it's a good time. Just throwing yeah. it out there. Listen! I don't think I can move back right now, though. Yeah, so you did just move. I mean, it, it's all loosey-goosey here, so... Um, uh, It'll be another action that we add to his thing, unless you want to just yeah. spend one hope right now. Because you would still have five, so I think you're good to act, and we'll save it up. Okay, just save it for later. Because I'm on top of the ledge okay. right now, is the only Oh, okay. Y'all aren't, right. aren't necessarily all right around, right yeah. around each other. Yeah, the... I'm on the ledge oh. far away. I took those two kids. I could do a wall of fire between the kid and the um, the the beast, where like the edge of the wall is hitting the beast as well. So the wall of fire him. super high, right? How am I getting back? Oh, around I assume. That's a good question. Yeah. Well, how, I mean, how big is the wall of fire? I, I, I can I, make it. Um, uh, new question. What if I take on the elemental incarnation of fire? Would you allow me to not take damage from the wall of fire? Um, I mean, yeah, if you're an ele if you're fire elemental, All right, you're not cool. going to take Do fire a wall damage. of fire, and I'm going to be a fire bitch in just a second. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a wall of flame there to protect that last kid. Okay. And then this one is uh, use in action to mark a stress and create a temporary wall of flame between two points within far range. So anything that passes through it takes 4d10 magic okay. damage. So I'll mark a stress here. And then you said you're putting that down to like try to hit him with it? Yeah. And to cut off him from the last kid that's still from there. From that last. Like okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me, bug, fire. Yeah. Gotcha. So do they. Uh, in that case, would you, if you set up the wall of fire like underneath the bug, there's not any rolls or anything to avoid the damage. It's just if they pass through it. Yeah, it doesn't say a roll on here. Okay. Well, then, yeah, go ahead and roll your damage. For sure. For sure. Math. Uh, so, yeah, math. <laughs> I got a 20. 20 damage? 20 damage. Awesome. All right. So yeah, um, how does how does that look when you bring that wall of fire up? Uh, the wall of fire, I kind of just um, pull up my sleeves, kind of magician like, and okay. uh, <laughs> go like this, and then just rise up this whole giant wall of flame. I love it. I love the like classical magician uh, aspect. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you you bring this wall of fire up, and and same as like uh, Terrence when he brought that axe forward to try to swing down and hit that thing in the face, um, it adjusted and shifted just slightly. Uh, as you're bringing that wall of fire up underneath it, it flies forward just a touch. You still catch its tail in the fire, um, but you don't catch it like fully in the in the uh, brunt of the flames there. Um, no. What I'm going to do real quick, guys, is oh, I'm no. going to use one of my fears uh -huh. to take control of combat yeah. real fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, yep. All right. Uh, 
<sighs> so, I... Good luck, boys! Uh, have Rude a feature boy. with my fl uh, flicker fly that's called Relentless, so um, it gets a uh, three active uh, abilities that I can use. So the first one, I'm going to um, go ahead and use the Whirlwind feature. So that's going to not Willow, because I'm going to say she's not very close anymore because she flew up. You didn't fly back down. You dropped those kids up, and that's where you Yeah, I'm still there. Right because now. of just the movement regulations, it would have taken another action. So, yeah, yeah I'm still no, there. No, that's perfectly fine. Um, so both Terrence and John, y'all see, uh, since y'all are still there kind of close to it, it shifts forward slightly to put itself kind of in between the two of you. Um, and again, these wings are just moving super, super fast. It's really, you can't see them fluttering, but you see as it starts to move in between you two, it spins in kind of a, a circle with its wings kind of flat out. And um, it is going to try to hit you with those razor sharp wings. Boy. Uh oh. Oh. Um, so I got. Uh, with the attack modifier, a 22 to hit you, fellas. Woo. Yeah, that beats my three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that beats me>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, something else. Let's roll this damage and see how much I'm going to hit y'all. Four. Okay, it could be worse. It's still a good amount of damage. Oh, though. no, guys! Um, this is going to be 28 points of damage. Jesus Christ! Are we, I assume we're doing massive damage in this? Are we or are we not? Yes, yeah, yeah. we definitely be doing massive damage. Okay. Now, uh, something to note is with the whirlwind attack, armor is only half as effective when reducing this damage. Cool. Oh god. Use two plus, huh? Twenty-eight points of damage. What is y'all's massive what is y'all's um severe damage threshold right now? Twenty-five. Okay, great. So, Fantastic. So nothing of a concern for you. Severe. Um Yeah, my severe is twenty. Great. Okay. So you're so you're in severe territory. But you said twenty seven, right, Steven? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. So you'd mm -hmm. have to get be able to dump down sixteen points, or no, eighteen 32. points to get it down below yours, because, because it's armor half is armor. half as effective. So the math is really complex here. Well, no, uh, it's it's still so the damage the damage isn't changing. It just depends on what his armor class is. So what is it's your armor class? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it's 28 uh, points of damage. My armor uh -huh. class is two, so if it's half effective, oh, I get one not. a pop. No. It would take all eight of my armor oh, no. to get this down to 20. Yeah, you know, you I'm don't even have enough. Yeah, because it's dope. Oh, you're yeah. right, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, and he, you said he's between us, so I'm definitely not close to him. That's <laughs> Yeah, no, he, 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 got, he was able so to, because you flew forward. So three right, so hit points. So I will yeah. use one armor slot and bring it down to two. Okay. okay. Like two, two, um, uh, two health. And then that leaves me with. Uh, you have something else? More, I have one more action token. He, he, he's real fast. Um, oh, I forgot. That doesn't even matter because I hit both of those. When it's swinging at you uh, with its basic attack, it has never miss as a passive, so all evasion scores are halved. Um, what? 1.5 then. Hey, <laughs> shit, wait, just point of order. Does he have a feature that allows him to go multiple times per round? It is the relentless. Yeah, and this will be relentless. Like the, yep. Yeah, okay. this will be the last cool. one. Cool, um, cool, cool, cool. So, yep. tight, 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 uh, tight. Turning around, it's going to swing with a 15 to hit, um, we'll say Terrence. Yeah, he was the rude ward. The rude one. And then right, what was that uh, coming to me? 15. A, a, a 15 to hit you use was three, right? 1.5, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 1.5. All right. 
Oh, way worse damage. Is the uh, armor only being half effective every time, or just with certain attacks? Just, just with that whirlwind attack. So okay. right, this this is going to be a standard. You can fully effective armor um, cool. that whirlwind attack special. Um, so this is going to be plus five, 16 points of damage. Cool. I'll use one armor and bring that to zero. Did you use the rune ward? Have you been using the rune ward? I have not yet. Do you want to? You can use it every time. But, oh, it costs a hope, though. Oh, I want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Through. Understood. But yeah, th this is just one. How are y'all looking? Two. two damage. Two damage. Okay, y'all are fine so far. Yeah, I got four health left. Okay, okay. We're um, okay. Yeah, and then that is my uh, last action, so that flips back over to you guys. Cool. Oh. Y'all just got fucked up, so I will let y'all do whatever y'all want before I come back with fire. The unity belt time. Yeah, uh, you want to do, do that? Right. I can get in. Yeah, I'd be down till I move around, join you on the other side, because I, I do want to move closer to y'all so I can help block a little. Okay. So then, so if we're trying to do unity belt, John, you've got to have some kind of catchphrase that I know means I need to get back for unity belt time, right? Showtime. Yeah. Paul, showtime. Yeah, or I could say like, and now for my next trick. Okay, great. And I, so you're gonna hear the sound of a falcon like, and I am going to from like the cliffside, you see through it like a burst of flame and the children scream as I turn into, cause it can overlap with beast form. So right. I am turning, I'm uh, invoking as a warden of the elements druid, I'm invoking my elemental incarnation of fire and I am invoking the specialization on top of that just as a note. So it's doing both uh, damage to stuff in melee with me and marking stress when I get close. And I'm going to fly through. It looked like your book kind of like fluttered at the same time that I did that. Like it was so good. Anyway, I'm going to fly through that wall of flame just a huge torrent of wings and I'm now I'm gonna come right over to you guys now I didn't plan anything for this and I can't use spells but I can certainly do just a regular great winged attack yeah so I mean y'all are like in a perfect position we've got uh, essentially I'd say with you flying through the wall of fire coming up towards behind it yeah. Um, from the way it moved forward towards them, yeah. you three are currently making like a triangle around it. Okay. Oh, excellent. Okay, fantastic. So, oh yeah, the philosopher dad. Oh, he's scary. Okay. So, do we want to do something flamey? Like I have fire. I will basically be doing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be doing D a D8 of damage in this case because of, that's all that I have as a winged beast. Okay. One D8 or is it D8 with your proficiency? It's a pro oh. add my proficiency. Okay. Yeah, so, that's so, a little yeah, better. <laughs> which will, yeah, but I didn't take it at fifth level, so mine's only 3D8 instead of 4D8. So, um, but anyway, but so what do we do? What is our, what, what does our triple attack look like? Triple I don't have much attack. to do yeah um is this just for like aesthetics or do we have i to can carry two room? people i can carry two people what if i no, dive down no. and y'all grab a foot a foot can y'all do anything from above can i fireball him from up there i mean oh yeah i mean you could probably position it to where like as y'all are circling around you just like slap him on the side so it doesn't catch any oh. of y'all in it either Dang, yeah, what if y'all wanted to like y'all kind of attacking from above and I'll try to like hold him down kind of thing? Uh because oh. I don't have much in the way of like, you know, fiery attack stuff. I, most I have. Yeah, I'm I'm down for trying to kind of go around grappling onto his like little legs and pulling him down while you know, using the wings to basically like opposite direction, you know, pulling down. Okay. Uh yeah. I'm, incredible so like i Burn dive it. down and i i'm going to swoop right underneath you john and you kind of know to jump just slightly and you're on my back right and then we're gonna come in and you with a fireball as like father terrence slides underneath him grabs him and pulls him down restraining him into spot Terrence, could you like angle his face at us? Would we make him eat the fire? That's badass. 
Just like swing him around a little. Okay. All right. That's what we do. Yes. Okay. So, so, yeah, so what I'm hearing is like, as you come busting through this firewall after hearing the trigger word from John, you fly down and John hops, like landing on your back, preparing his fireball. And as he's doing this, we have Terrence come sliding in and grabbing the, the bottom feet of this flicker fly and huh. pulling it down. And we'll say like, as you're doing that, you can use that that shield, your wing shield mm -hmm. to like pop the, the flicker fly's uh, face upward. And then you pull your shields down to kind of protect you from what you know is about Amazing, to be a Amazing, Steven. Ball of fire. Okay. Amazing. Oh. So we, so we, because guys, anyone who's watching this, we are using the belt of unity. It is the item in the game that is the 60th item of 60 that Steven let us take for fun cinema. And we, it allows you to use all th or three player characters to do a tag team role. Yeah. But I mean, in my brain, it's a triple tech from Chrono Trigger. So, um, <laughs> so each of us gets to make the attack, and then we choose which one we want, right? Yeah, that's correct. Somebody roll a critical. Somebody roll a critical. Let's uh, go. All right, here we go. All right. So that is going to be. What roll am I making? So strength. I think just a regular attack, right? I'll just say a regular. You attack. You have to really? add something Wait. to this. I mean, that's, that's what my attack. Do they do add? Yeah, yeah. So, um, does your shield have like a weapon damage to it? Uh, yes, it has a it has forty six instead of the uh, axis forty ten. Okay, well, yeah, just treat it like a like a shield attack. You can go ahead and okay. use your axe damage; it'll be fine. Um, okay, mine is an eighteen with hope. Eighteen with hope. That's great. Did anybody, did anybody crit? I did not crit. Uh, got an 18. With hope? Uh, 18 with hope, yes. We both got 18 with hope. A 31 because I rolled with fear and succeeded. Wait, that's, I you're think, doing right? your damage, right? You mean you oh, have to roll yeah, the yeah, attack yeah, yeah. first. Yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah, I did get the attack, so then that was a 20? Oh, a 20 with hope or fear? Uh, with, with fear, fear, right? Fear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you want to use that because as a wizard, if he rolls with fear, he gets to pump like triple damage in, I think. Is that correct? Yeah, so um, if you roll with fear as a wizard, um, you deal an extra 2d10. Okay, mm. so we're so we are yeah. foregoing both of our 18s with hope and letting us take a 20 with fear, giving Steven a fear so that you can add 2d tw uh, 10 into it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. That's what I was trying. That's Sounds great. Works. Sounds great. So you're so now we have to add all three of our damage. Does 20 hit, yep. Steven? Oh yeah. Okay, great. All right, so mine's going to be a little teeny pee, you know, nothing to hit, but let me go ahead and roll it and see what I can do about it. Uh, 24 for my son. 24? <laughs> Mine's two. <laughs> Mine's two. That's it! Oh. oh, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 sorry, hold on. It was like two damage? You did two I, I, damage? I, yeah, you said 18, like, because okay. I, I forgot to factor in my proficiency. Sorry, guys. So, okay, 18. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was like, two? Like, uh. Okay, <laughs> so 18 from me. How much from you, Justin? 24? Yeah. And then 31 from Chris, right? Yeah. 31. All right, so uh, that severe uh, 73, massive. 73 points of damage, right? 73 points of damage still falls under severe. What? Uh -huh. What? You need a 74. You, uh, you would need an 84 to massive uh, damage this fellow. Uh, and with that fear, 
I'll take control for another yeah. another round yeah. of some yeah. yeah, yeah. Scary. Scary. So... If we would have went the hope Sorry, route, we would have. Would all three of us would have gotten a hope? Right now. No, just the just one person. Okay. The person okay. whose role that you take. Okay, I was kind of thinking like for bouncing that one. And, uh, yeah, like we have found the fatal flaw with this build, which is that if you use the fear, it better be a fucking good hit because the GM will almost always be able, you know, will <laughs> to we'll want to. take it back. Uh -huh. and what what uh, are positioning relative to each other? Are any of us like close to each other or very close? Uh, or well, I guess those two are still together. I think we're all uh -huh. close at this point because like, I feel like the fireball yeah. happened, but we just flew down back into mm -hmm. melee because I need to be in melee. If you, are, if you are very close to me, I can possibly block damage for y'all. Great. Fantastic. We Good are. to know. Good to know. So um, the first thing that is going to trigger oh is, oh real quick i'm so sorry i'm so okay, sorry but because i have my specialization up he marks the stress your your okay. creature marks the stress because he took damage okay that works right. good to know um and this is something that i was supposed to trigger earlier but i missed uh the activate time but um as y'all kind of all power down on this guy uh -huh. he's going to kind of with his wings know, fluttering super fast. Um, he is going to spin and toss Terrence kind of upward. He's tossing Terrence! Um, yeah, just because Terrence has wings, so he can no! play automatic. Uh, <laughs> so he's like <laughs> kind of coming up towards you guys, uh -huh. and you see this uh, flicker fly kind of inhale deeply and then spew out a gas that's going to kind of encompass oh, the three of you no. kind of there. Oh, no. Um, Okay. And then I will need a, a another uh, instinct roll. Uh, from and, all of us? Um, from all three of you and Chris, he knows your fear, so you have disadvantage. Okay, I'm Holy not. I'm I'm roll, I'm switching out my freaking dice because those ones are not giving me any hope. My pink rose quartz is my hope. My green is my fear. My jade is my fear. And then remember, Chris, fear is 19 with hope. Okay. Um, with fear, you roll a d6 and you subtract that from your number. Okay, got it, got it. It's, no, it was, oh, no. A, it was it's, a, it's a three with hope. I can't. Oh, okay. It's a reaction roll, though, reaction. so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, no, it does oh. not. Did I, I got a 10. Uh, a 10? No. Um, oh. oh. Oh my so, god. So, uh... Okay. The two of you, um, my, my sweet firebird and fireman, um, y'all take a deep inhale, but because uh. Terrence was tossed up there, he kind of, like, spun and knocked some of the gas away from his face. It went up like, ah! Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he didn't take the full inhale like you guys did. Yeah. Um, but... You two guys are gonna take some magic damage. No, no. Um, sixteen points of magic damage. Okay, 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 okay. Half. And you both look armor stuff, uh, right? Uh, no, this is normal armor stuff. You can you can use the armor however you want. Okay. Um, I was say I might want to use my uh my I am your show thing. I think I'm probably gonna try to help out a. Uh, Chris's character, I'm blanking on your, uh, Jack. Is Jack? John. 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 Yeah, Which, yeah. honestly, right, Jack is in my favorite John, yeah. too, so it's uh, uh, fine. I'll, I'll throw my I am your shield, and like, even though I'm, like, you know, flying through the air, I'll waft the shield to, you know, blow some of the thing away from him. Uh, I mark the dress, and I can use, uh, well, first, I reduce it by my strength, so reduce it by four, so it's now only 12. Okay. And then, I don't know if that brings it down to anywhere reasonable for you. If not, I can do an yeah. armor slot and break it, make it zero. Yeah, 12 is a lot easier. I could do like. If I get it down, my uh, major is six. So if I get okay. it to six, does that mean I, it's, it's under the major. threshold? You'd have yeah, to go, I'll, it'd have to be five under. to be under the I'll, threshold. I'll just go and do an armor slot at zero. Okay, thanks, thanks. <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go. All right. Um, now. Uh, it was so. a 16 points of damage reduced for uh, John since he was being helped out by Terrence. But as a side effect of this breathing this in, 
you both are going to suffer um, and lose two points of hope. <gasps> no! Oh my god. Either, either of y'all really need hope? I can give one of you four or one of you one. I was, uh, luckily I only had one hope, so oh. he took one away from me. <laughs> I used the unity vote. I'm just, oh, that's so good. I'm just gonna mark two health for that. Two hope. No, 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 I I, I have to mark two hope uh, off? No, 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 yeah, not yeah. me. Yeah, me? you, you failed the check too. Well, listen, I only have one, yeah. so you can fucking oh, have okay. it. Okay, <laughs> I'll take both. <laughs> well, I need now. more though, I need more. You guys, I can't heal without hope. Hey. As soon as it's not the bad guy's turn, I can help you out. Yeah, fuck okay, off, okay, Steven. Okay. Get out. Uh, well, I got two more attacks, <laughs> yeah, and then y'all yeah. be able to go again. Velocidad um, says, "Jokes on you, Flicker Fly. We have no hope. Ye of little hope, enter here." <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I was really hoping to get all three of you with that one. Hopeless. Yeah. Yeah. Dodge it out. Full um, fear, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, 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 Ate my hope. Is. I would Trying like to maximize. I that. would like to use Unseely on my dad's side to kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else is he doing? Right. So he is going to take two attacks. He's going to take one at you and one at John. John seemingly being the person that he's able to uh, get a hold of the best. Oh my God. So first one at you is going to be a, a dirty 20. <laughs> and then what? the second one at John is going to be a 16. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I have a hit. That hits me, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, would a four bring, bring that below any of y'all's evasions? A 20? No. No. My evasion, nine. The other one was a 16, I think. Yeah, For John. Would 12 hit John still? Unfortunately, I lost all my hope. If I'm above two hope, I can add my spell casting to my evasion, which yeah. puts me at 15. But I okay. lost my hope, so now I'm down to an 11. Um, okay, so this is this one's gonna hurt a little bit. Hurt a little uh, bit. Yeah, hurt shut a little up. That's what you said last time. Yeah, I could potion. Jesus. Um, Thirty-two points of damage coming to Willow. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take the severe. Okay. Because I would have to use... How often can I use my uh, I Am Your Shield ability? It's just when I ally very close to you is going to take damage, you may mark a stress and stand in its way and take the damage instead. Uh, okay. And then... Uh, I mean, I would say that you could probably use it so, for marking the stress. Real quick, though. So keep doing what you're doing, but a but after we you deal this damage to me, I need a pause to do some shit to him that is not okay. a part of an attack. It's reaction okay. stuff because I'm a fire fucking bird. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> let me finish hitting uh, John real quick. Yeah, hit, hit him. But then I hit you. Okay. <laughs> 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 This fire 30, uh, 30 points of damage coming to John. It's fucking healing field. Okay, so I, I, can, I can try to do the thing again and reduce it by another, uh, you know, 20. You just, I just need one I hope. I mean, I can give you one hope. Yeah. Yeah. With this thing, that at any time I can do this. I have. Uh, as soon as it's healing. our turn, give me a hope. I'll healing feel I don't, us. I, I, mean, I, I know we're so, rough, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Are you guys? Um, I hope you are. I hope this was challenging. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> are you done with your bullshit? <laughs> I am. Okay. I am. So what are you? So what are you doing? To I, me? I, this is not something I'm doing. This is just happens. Okay. Because okay. I am on fire and a bird. I have my fire elemental up. When an am enemy in melee range, which he was, yep. deals damage to you, they oh. take 1d10 magic damage. What? He was very close. He wasn't melee. Neither time? They don't have to get, he's he's very long and uh, elongated, that very. That would have been a nine, and that would have been a four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, do you need that one hope, or do you need that one hope? If okay. y'all want me to do healing I field, up. I can do that. Okay, so that that's more for when it's on our turn, but not this reactive. It, it is. It is your turn now. That is his turn well, back I, over you guys. Damage, I was trying to see if I could like reduce his damage. Uh, okay, okay. Like, yeah, y'all can y'all can figure that out before you turn okay. over. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I'll, I'll mark the one stress, burn another armor, and that's reduce it from thirty to or to ten. 
Okay. Uh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Wait, and then I. What happened? So I'm, he. I'm, uh, uh, sorry, guys. I did not hear either of you because you spoke at the same time. Justin, what did you do? I, I just used that Imir shield ability again. So oh, that's so good. Mark Hell Marma. yeah. Hell yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And um, okay, so it's at a 10, right? And then my major threshold is a 6. So I will use. Um, three of them three to knock it down to armor four. slots. Yeah. So one, two, three, and then I'll take out uh, one, one, two, yeah, three. Oh, yeah. That leaves me at three health. <laughs> I'm also at three health. Yay! I'm hurting people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, start turn. You want to stop? And drink some potions. Uh, I can do healing field. Oh, um, I'll be right that? back. Time out, guys. But y'all go ahead. You're go good. Ahead. We don't yeah. need you we, for we, this. We're dealing with some shit real quick. Okay. No, no roll. <laughs> I need a hope. So if you have a way to give right. me a hope. Okay. Yeah. How are you doing one, this? One hope. I'm, I'm down to that one d4 now, or the d4 with the four value now. That's um, a hope. Yeah. I, I had uh, four D4s to start with. Uh -huh. There were two of them were fours. One of them was, or two of them were ones. Uh -huh. I can give those out at any time to either uh, reduce incoming damage, add to any roll after the roll, but before you find out what it is, uh, I can exchange that for hope to any PC. Um, and then and that, those just get cleared. So the how many hope am I getting? Just the one? Do you want the one or do you want the four? <laughs> I feel like, I don't think that... Uh, I think it's fine. Just give me the one. We'll save the next one for whoever really needs it. How much hope do you guys have? I have four. I have none. Okay. Well, then we'll get like, what do you use, Chris? Do you use hope? Um, the only thing I would lie, I use no hope for is to get back above two so that I get my evasion back up to 15 rather that's than maybe, 11. That's maybe but... more worth it than me having it for, for, for shit. But, but, um, I, I have healing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, just I would say just give me the one for now. And I'm going to then, I'm not going to mark it because once per long rest, I can use an action to conjure a field of small healing plants around you. This is healing field. So as part of this, all of these lilies of the valley just begin popping up all around the floor around us. Um, and also like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this causes you and your allies to immediately heal one hit point, or you can spend a hope to increase the healing power of this spell to two hit points. So we each are healing two hit points as part of that healing field as these flowers have grown and all of the vapors are now in the air healing us up. So that's, that's one action from my side. Now, if y'all want... I can fucking make us more safe, or I can let y'all do more stuff. Just to recap, Stephen, I, I gave uh, her one of my uh, paradise that I was, her, I was listening. Okay, well, I, you can I hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. And then I'll give the D four over to uh, really to, to no John. Mercy. Mother uh, of Pearl yeah, said he really four. said no mercy, and he did not. He really did. The D four um, over oh, to you, me for. You, you just have four hope now. Okay, sick, sick. And so I'm out. Of, I'm out of those now. Uh, th okay. Those are not actions. That's just at any time I can dole those out. Okay. Um, oh, that's not an action. Not an action for those. Good. Good to know. Okay. I was counting it as one. <laughs> so not any time you can do this, uh, you just you just hand them out. Yeah. Cool. Okay. How afraid are we of the next round of combat? Like, do we want to make people like less susceptible to being fucked up? So let me let me let me preface this by saying that as y'all kind of are like reeling back after that last round of swings and swipes from this creature, um, it is puttering. One of the wings has stopped flickering quite as fast as the rest. Um, it has a glowing kind of iridescent blood kind of trickling from its nostrils. Um, it's well, hurt. This well, thing's yeah. looking rough. Hey, let's just let's just go well on Take it. it out. Fuck that! I can I attack or do y'all want to? Do y'all have something planned? Do y'all have something y'all want to do? I'm gonna fly up in the air and just like nosedive on it with a with an axe, but you know, feel free to shoot it as well. Hey, <laughs> can do you have do you have enough hope? Do you want to do a double attack, like a tag team roll with just me and you? If you're gonna go up into the air, I can help. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Big how, many, how much hope do you have left? 
I, oh, well, I, I don't have it, but he has enough. Oh, okay. 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 So I'm going to, I can well, immediately. Three is all you need. I can immediately drop my form at any time. So I, you guys immediately see, like, I shrink, but not much, back down into my nine foot lady. And at this point, I'm going to say, oh, Jimbo. Fly! No, shit, you're not Jimbo. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, fucking Terrence! Father Terrence! Father Terrence, <laughs> fly! I give you wings! And I'm going to fucking cast Towering Stalk by marking a stress. So this is that same thing that I did on the boat, you guys, except for now we're here. Um, so marking a stress. I need to find that so I can make sure that I mark it now. Okay, so with this... My idea for this tag team role, right, is that I'm going to do the damage from my towering stock. That's why I wanted to do it. But it's going to come out of the ground again, this mushroom, and it's going to jettison you into the air, and then you can come down, which is what you said you wanted to do, right? Justin, I yeah. could fly up and come down on it, and you push it from underneath with the mushroom. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so you're up, and I'm going to... Well, that's how the attack works anyway, just to be clear, Steven. So, okay. um, yep, yep, absolutely. Okay, so we're both going to roll attacks, right? Oh. Um. Wait, I need to find my dice again. Here we go. All right. So yeah, this takes uh, three hope to do. This is a spell cast. Three hope, yeah. Okay, uh, and then... Cool. Uh, Steven, I would also like to use my uh, snapping turtle experience. Uh, just to okay. you know, get plus one, you know, just a little, little extra. We're, 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 we're snapping the pinchers here. Mine we is a the seven, 17 with hope for me. 17 with hope, okay. Uh, 19 with uh, hope for me. Dang it. Oh, sorry, sorry, 20 with hope. Ooh. Nice. All right, great. So 20 with hope one. will hit. All right, amazing. Cool. So. Get one hope back. <laughs> Yep. So what this does is it erupts underneath the creature, lifting them into the air, and then they drop for 3d8 physical damage. So it's just like pummeling into whatever you're doing to strike him. 21 magical on my side. Incredible. How, 21? Mm -hmm. I thought you said 1d1. I was like, what are you talking about, Justin? 1d1 plus 20. Okay, and unfortunately mine's just 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12. 33 total? 33. All right. And while that would have killed it, it is going to use one of the last features that it has. Counterspell. No, I'm uh, kidding. <laughs> uncanny reflex is oh, no. a uh, reaction that it has, and it can mark a stress when taking damage from an attack it within close range to take only half of that damage. So hmm. while that would have killed it with the major at a minor, it is just there. <gasps> well, we're close. We rolled with hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we rolled with hope. Magic man, finish him so off. Y'all are still in. Y'all, y'all got this. This is y'all's game. I have a um, arcane barrage where it hits no matter what. That's it. That's the answer. Yes. Y'all see as right after this huge mushroom kind of raises up, launching Father Terrence into one of his classic just downward axe swings, and he just cleaves this thing. It twists, twists away at the last second, taking another hit right through that same axe wound that Terrence landed originally, tearing it open slightly more, um, and it kind of putter putters and then turns over as John. The Magnificent. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm going, I know it's happening and I'm going fully into posing. And for this your one, last the act. number of, oh, go ahead. I was saying for your last act. Yeah. For the number of hope I dump into it as the more D6s I get. So I'll spend all four hope and Hell just yeah. four D6s on this guy and fucking, fucking like, do it. Velocidad <laughs> said magic missile. I mean, Arcane Barrage for I mean, the win. Arcane Barrage. <laughs> Uh, listen, we don't know her. We don't know her. And that's the triangle again, right? That's the D4 is the triangle. Yeah. Where is he? Mary First day on the job. Yeah, you Hello can do fire. it. I believe you. Let me find the D6 real quick. Here. Oh. Cube. I don't know why that was awesome. right. Regular, regular die. <laughs> yep, regular uh, die. <laughs> D6 is that everybody. guy. <laughs> everybody. 
<laughs> it's all sweaty when you're thinking about it. You're just like, which one? Yeah, no which ones. ones? <laughs> Even after we kill this, I do want to do one other uh, domain card and see, you know, see if we can get some answers. Yeah, to go for it. I believe in you, Chris. You you do it. Oh, there's 10 direct magic damage. 10 direct magic damage was just enough. So you see, right as Terrence, uh, I mean, more than enough, but <laughs> uh, right after Terrence cleaves this thing and it pulls to the side, it's, it's going to start kind of fluttering backwards. And this thing, I don't think I like stressed how, just quite how large this thing is. It's the size of a large draft horse. This is a big kind of creature with wings. It's odd. I've um, seen bigger. I've seen bigger. <laughs> um, and as it pulls away and it's like fluttering backwards to try to head towards the mouth of the cave and get the fuck out of here, it is stung by 10 razor sharp magic needles that just can they be shaped like cards the chris can like they be little cards, cards badass. like little playing cards just six, 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 all the way down the side of it and then almost gambit-esque barrage of little <laughs> as it lays flat down Ugh. still and unmoving amazing ah well huzzah I thought I was gonna die. All of my little <laughs> fairies that surround me, which I couldn't even freaking use because it takes hope to help to have them repair my armor. They immediately go full evil pixie and they all fly off to it and begin just like ripping handfuls of it and just like <laughs> feasting on it. And I say, ladies, leave the wings. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Point of interest. Point of interest, um... point of order. <laughs> leave the wings. They are stripping right. it down to the bone. Um, They're stripping it down. What were you uh, planning on yeah, doing here? Uh, yeah, I wanted to go over to it and just kind of, you know, shield kind of goes back into place. So you stretch a little bit, walk over, see you are okay, look up toward the kids. But then I'll go over down to it, kneel down, and I'm going to cast a final words on it. Oh, uh, the pixies are eating it. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> you know, natural cycle. Uh, that is a. 23 with hope only needed a 13 um uh, and so it it, uh, it will or yeah uh honest yeah, success uh you infuse a moment of life into a corpse in order for it to speak uh, you know <gasps> you gotta speak with dead uh, if the results is hope it will it will answer up to three questions uh, if it's fear you only get one and once the spell ends or on a failure the body will turn to dust we get to uh, talk to a flicker fly you get to talk to a flicker fly apparently <laughs> Steven was Where's not Steven? prepared to be a flicker fly. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, howdy, how's it going? I was just yeah, chilling in this cave. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right. <laughs> All right, so um, I suppose as as you do this, uh, and it turns to dust afterwards. Afterwards. <gasps> <laughs> That's after we answered the question. Can we say answer. one of the pixies because hey, I had already hey, given the command? Hey, one of them rips hey, it. Oh. Rachel, I, I'll talk real slow. It, it's fine. It, yeah, you got plenty of time to take those wings off. I see, um, I've seen Father Terrence cast this before, and I'm like, ladies, yeah. grab one, grab one quick. So they are just all like, <laughs> they look back at me, their faces like very bloody, and they're like, and they start like ripping one of the and wings it's off. Like, it's like I I, I want to say that just as point of order, this is like unicorn blood. It is like a silvery uh, from, on their faces. Yeah, like exactly like a metallic and stuff. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. It is. Um, we don't want to get some checked afterwards. GMC right, Bob so. says I want a thigh. Like <laughs> I want a thigh. Listen, you can have the thighs. I want the wings. I don't need the thighs. The breasts. The, I, the legs. I just need the wings. I know what they do. Okay. Um, and, they're gonna get a wing. Though. I'm down next to it, kind of pick up its head, rest it on my shield, and I'm just Aww. like, hey, I'm, "I'm sorry, little fella. Uh, I know we kind of. I assume this is your home, and, and I just wanted to ask: Is this your home? Do you have kids here? We're gonna steal its eggs. <laughs> it would. Um, you'd see, like, kind of like uh, an inhale of breath to give it something to speak with this was my home that's what haste gets us guys we come all right go back to the <laughs> golden dragon wings <laughs> yeah. 
Did, did you have children here? I was still in search of a mate. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> you have any more? Que- you have any questions for it? I have nothing, guys. I have no idea what to ask a flicker fly at all. What are you I wearing? Who are you right wearing? <laughs> what was that, Chris? Um, Maybe uh, might it have something of value in here? Yeah. Uh, it, any final wishes? Do you have anything? What? Any final wishes? Uh, any any final wishes that you wanted us to take care of for you afterwards? Fuck off. Leave my treasure be. No, no, can't do, friendo. Sorry. Can you clarify which was your treasure and which was stolen from the <laughs> it's just like just, the pixies like grabbing it one last yank as it's disintegrating up? And I'm like, yeah, I'm on my knees. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> the, yeah. On the dime. <laughs> yeah, I could cry on command, you know. Just like, Oh, no, it's fine. Quick uh, point of order. Is there still a firewall going on or did that drop our... Oh, yeah, I dropped that. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. As that <laughs> drops, you would see uh, Finn so that, that kind of like the, the human kid I stand up. I snatch that kid up by his ear immediately. Nine and foot fairy. <laughs> he's terrified. Yeah. He doesn't know <laughs> what's going on. What are you doing, you little twerp? I swear to God, if my hair is even a little bit singed, I'm going to kick your ass. Uh, 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 I'm gonna clap his little jaw like close your mouth you look like a fish he's all sweaty from being around the firewall the whole time (laughs) he's he's just got like tears welling up and you kind of looking at him would estimate that this is probably the youngest one of them all oh shit Um, I thought this was like a 16 17 year old I'm so sorry maybe like 15 16 oh no I'm still fucking with him listen you're old enough to drive you're old enough to cry you know (laughs) fuck this kid Uh, he's just like he's like sitting there like terrified and he kind of like looks up to where you flew his friends yeah uh, I'm uh, saying nothing. I'm sweating him. And he's sweating. He doesn't have anything to say either. He. Are you really proud of yourself for stealing all the treasure? Could, if you're going could, to be a thief, be a good thief. But 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 I only took a couple of the things. This 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 is a horrible excuse. I don't know what you want from me. Do you want to do you want to pat on the back for only being a little bit of a thief? Can I a just couple, go like home? My couple. Can I just not be here with that thing? Mm. And, and, and Terrence, no. are we drowning this one? No, that was a joke. Yes, you could go. We need to take time to pause. Oh, we've been in a hurry. No, you can't go. We have to Let's, pause. Kids, help us bring this stuff down. Then y'all can go home. Y'all can take some with you. John and me exchange a look as always, and we're like, I'm giving them the daggers. I'm like, you leave that shit here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're yeah, like, he, we nod to Father Terrence, Terrence, but we are staring. He looks them. at Terrence, and then he looks back at you. Well, they're, they're going to take a little bit. They're going to take it back to uh, the warehouse for uh, Brother Terrence or both uh, Brother Franklin, and he's going to put into work for a little bit. Uh, and everybody's going to pay off. Everyone's going to be happy. Uh, I had to go apologize to a little goblin child, um, and uh, it's gonna be all right. Okay, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I don't think I want anything. I just want to oh, go home. Generous yeah. of spirit. <laughs> um, and then about that time, you would hear from up <laughs> up the top. Can you let us down? The jump I got really. Like to come down. Oh, can I? I levitate them down? Oh, yes. I do have levitate. Yeah, he has yeah, levitate. Definitely. Okay, cool. you have levitate, you can for sure levitate. Busy lifting down. drink style. There's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they get to the bottom, and Nile and Araya, um, Arabin, uh, they kind of are like talking to each other. And then they look back over and they're like, Hi, boys, I'm your governess. 
What? I am your governess, and I will be ensuring that you clean up your act. Your parents have hired me. What? No. No. No one. No, you're right. I'm here to kill you. (laughs) I'm kidding again. I'm not. All right. What? What's going on, boys? Well, the, we were reading things here, hoping to sell them. Mm-hmm. And when we got back this morning, all of our treasure was missing. Oh. See, we started bringing it here because we found some gold around the cave. Mm. Thought you'd be pirates, smuggling a little bit. Well, we heard of of the Galapas that went on adventures, like Father Terence here, and we wanted to adventure as well. I'm, oh, rookies. I'm having I'm having some disparity here because on the one hand, I thought they were little rich shits. You know, they were like, they're, it's not a Robin Hood story, but like now they're talking adventure and that sings to my heart. So I feel like I'm still making mean faces, but I am like, yeah, well, I, I, I wouldn't want it's, to. It's, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Father Terrence. These are your meddling kids. Kids, you gotta, you gotta stay here, learn your lessons, take your time. You'll get to do your adventure later. You want to do your adventure away from home so you don't destroy your home. You know. I, I suppose I, I that I didn't, makes I sense. I didn't leave until I was, way, I was very old. Uh, I can hardly remember much, but... I'm, like, listening closely to hear if Father Terrence says how old he is because he's never said it before. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he always tells y'all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lost count, well, you know? Um... Okay, we'll, we'll can head back to town and over to the Tam Tak estate to let him know what we did. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. Was this all the treasure that y'all had stolen and lost? And is there anything uh, really good? Well, we had taken quite a few things, but that pile's quite a bit bigger than what we had taken. Mm-hmm. I'll take a couple things for the road and go let go let brother uh, brother Franklin know we'll stay here and guard until you get him back here. Okay, thank you, Father Terrence. You see, like as they're walking out, Finn's like, "More treasure? How much more?" They're not gonna give us any. <laughs> <laughs> they all kind of wander out. Um, I, I, would, I would say I'll probably take the time to get up to the top there. Oh, yeah. I, I do another <laughs> stalk. I don't have to do anything to make those mushrooms grow. And so I'm just, cool. like, standing us all there. They are easily climbable, it says specifically. So I make one that okay. we can climb cool, cool, cool. A ramp one. All right. Yeah, yes. I was up there levitating already. Like. <laughs> Slow down. So y'all get up to the top. Patience this, is a virtue. Uh, area here. And um, it's tight. For you, Willow, to get through, oh. and it's it's pretty oh. tight for Terrence to get through too. But once you pass through this little mouth, and that's kind of where you're seeing that like layer of treasure that you saw. Um, you push through, and it's a mighty nice pile. This flicker fly has probably been here for a while, and you, Willow, as a giant fairy, um, giant Willow. would know that one of their favorite pastimes is collecting shiny things. Hell so yeah. So beyond just Me like too. silvers and golds and things like that, you also see like beautiful uh, like glass art <gasps> and you'll see um, uh, a handful of like horns and things that have been like oh. well polished. Um, so like like French horns and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, so not all of it's necessarily treasure, but it did have a good amount of treasure that it had found as well. Um, 
large uh, golden things that probably were snatched off of decks um, that were left out because it, it, you saw it moving around. It moves fast. It can get in and out of places and take what it wants. Is Okay, so put, I just want to ask because I really, I'm dreading the conversation with Father Terrence, but is there anything that I, like money, fine. Is there anything really good? A nice, a nice cape or a, 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 anything that you're aware of? Anything looty, looty, adventurer looty, you know? So I would say, um, given a, a quick, like, in and out of everything, um, you take stock of the items that were taken um, that Father uh, Terrence had noted. Um, outside of that collection of items, um, you guys would find a few things. So uh, if you're looking for something kind of like that, I would say um, that you find a um, thin kind of uh, tiara um, oh. with like rolling kind of leaves on it leading up to what most likely pulled this flitterfly's attention, which is a rather large jewel kind of centered in the the center point of it right is there. Is it an emerald? Yes, oh. it is a lovely emerald. <laughs> to um, match my eyes? To match your <laughs> eyes. Uh, with little uh, sapphire and ruby almost insects moving along the the leaf work oh. leading up to the emerald in the center. I look um, at Father Terrence. I'm like, Please, can I have this? Just this. Oh, sure. And the rest we can box up and go set in town and wait for the people to come by and pick up their things. You know? Okay, okay. Yeah. This is what I expected. I knew he wasn't going to let us keep it all, so I was looking for a pretty thing for me. Um, I would say as uh, y'all are digging around as well, John comes across a um, quite remarkable timepiece. So, I was about to say, I'm leaving with something. Yeah. You're with something. <laughs> um, as you're looking this uh, this timepiece over, it's it's on uh, quite a nice chain. It's something that maybe you could hang from one of your coat pockets or vest pockets. Um, and you're fiddling with it. You realize that if you hit a button not on the top to open the front to look at the time, but in the bottom, there is a back compartment for something to be hidden. There's nothing in Jax. it at the moment, but it's something that you might be able to store. Something that would be roughly the size, let's see, of about this cork. Jax. Should I grab maybe one coin out of this and put it in oh, there? Oh, we'll 100%. Start. 100%. <laughs> you could probably fit two coins in there easy. A little slide of hand. A little slide of hand, yeah. Yeah, you know. Just lucky Terrence. points. There's nothing here that would draw a holy man of your kind of status to, to want to keep anything of a material value. <laughs> now, as you're looking through, though, you do come across quite an interesting tone. It's silvered um, on the outside and there embedded in the, the center of the first page is the sigil of your goddess. It's nice. As you kind of flip, flip through the pages, um, you start seeing some notes uh, that someone has kind of filled in details of like, oh, well, if this was done here, maybe this was done here. As you keep flipping through um, and you find your way towards the back of the book, uh, as you get there, you notice a signature in the very bottom corner of the back page of the book there. Howard. A nice book. The Howard. Oh, you're reading too? Yeah, I am fully, like, again, leaned over your shoulder, just looking at it. Always. Nosy. The cheese man. I'll give this a good read later. I'm just kind of token. <laughs> and then I'd say probably 
the better part of an hour or so yeah. later. Um, uh, probably longer than that. Y'all, y'all traveled quite a ways out here, so a better part of like three or four hours later, y'all kind of set up a small like maybe fire. You're cooked some goods. This has been a great time for a short rest to to have occurred. Um, y'all hear uh, some rustling kind of coming through the clearing that leads to the cave. Um, and as y'all kind of work your way up to the mouth of the cave, um, Father Terrence will see a very familiar visage um, yeah. in his dear brother Franklin. Tell us what brother Franklin looks like. Well, he's definitely got a nice little yellow, uh, yellow uh, kind of uh, like sun kind of bleached uh, shell. Uh, very dark green skin. Uh, smooth head. Smooth head. <laughs> yeah. No, no hair, no, no hats. Uh, you can tell he's your friend just by looking at him. It's old, it's old Franklin. That's cute. Y'all, y'all would watch as Franklin kind of comes into the, the clearing here, and he turns, um, and he's like, Oh, Brother Terrence, it's a pleasure to see you! And he oh. moves rather quickly across the clearing um, to give... You've, uh, been, you've been out of... Uh, you've been out for a while, haven't you? Oh, well, you know, when you... When you have to uh, interact so often with uh, the other uh, uh, people of our world, you gotta kind of you gotta get with the times. Um, I can catch myself slipping back into our old kind of uh, canter when I'm with the misses and you know we're at home. But I, I'm sorry, I've been busy with work all day. And, and uh, when when the the Tarek twins came through and told me what they did, I. I had to come and see it for myself. So y'all found our missing items, eh? Yeah, not not to worry, Brother Franklin, uh, or uh, Mr. Franklin. Uh, uh, thank you. We, we we have found a lot of your treasure and more. Uh, I more. Found, yes. Uh, so if y'all, if since you're you know a man of speed now, you might be more willing to help us. You know, bring some of this stuff to town. Let people find their lost and founds. Oh, oh yes, that's that's lovely. We can take it straight to the church. I'm sure that they can make sure it gets back to who they those items belong to. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, I, I just wanted to also share this with you. I thought you might appreciate it. I uh, found this tomb of a tome of Howard. Uh, there's a, a Howard's book. Uh, in, interesting. Um, what you found a tome of Howard? Uh, uh, yeah, I think yeah. it might have been his book. Well, We'll look into that. I mean, I mean, we've I'm heard of tomes of Howard history. before. It, it, it's probably it's probably a uh, a false like one of those. Uh, That's all right. I'm taking my time reading through it. I'm on page two. I'm giving each page an hour. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you got to really digest it. I remember those days back in the church. You really, you really have to digest the that 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 scripture. It is it is something. I read else. between the lines. Sometimes yeah, you get hard enough. Sometimes you see more words. And you can add things every once in a while if you take long enough. It's 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 quite interesting. Mm-hmm. I have to get off of this island. I, you're so kind. Thank you so much. When is the next ferry home? Um, where's home for you? I'm not sure at this point. I live in a giant flower. Uh, well, I mean, if y'all if y'all keep to the, the the southern coast, you'll circle around and find yourself in Crescent Bay if you're looking for something fun to do. Mm, I am. Mm-hmm. I like the sound but, of that. But uh, we we have the uh, one of the uh, you know holidays coming up though. We have a day of stillness. We don't, we don't want to stay for that. Oh, I wish we could, Ooh. but I just think that we have to get going. You know, oh John, we had that thing that we needed to do, John. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're more than welcome uh, to come now. and stay at the, oh, the Tantac Estate so with me sweet. and Margie. Oh, I bet we are. You know, we're just so busy. You know, John here. Oh, you know. Oh, he's a it's busy a man. man. Have you met John the Magnificent? And I just start, like, walking towards the mouth of the cave with John, like, with me, like, off into the, like, setting sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, interesting group you got with you, Terrence. Well, if, if, if you guys can't find a, a ferry out tonight, which you won't, um, come on <laughs> over to the Tantac Estate. And we'll we'll have dinner with you folks and uh, really really give you a good thinking for um, all the, the, the stuff you've done for us here. Oh, we appreciate it. We'll be right there. All right. Well, I'm going to start loading up. Later. And... At that time, you see uh, uh, out of the brush uh, 
a fairy that you might recognize Fucking kind of Haley. flutter into view. And yeah, Haley, she she flitters in and she what says, this way, Gavin, he went this way. You know, Mr. Tamtak, we can't keep up with him for the life of us. Oh yeah, that's um, fair. That's such a good point, yeah. <laughs> and um, that's uh, where we'll kind of come to a close to our, our very fun adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Tam pack, Zantac, we're just like tic tac. It's all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That was fun. Thank you, good job, yeah. Steven. Yeah, thank thank you, Steven. you so much for saving our butts. I mean, I'm here. I'm here to help. Uh, I'm glad that y'all listened to my nonsense as I rambled for a few hours. That was so good. <laughs> Great. I, I, and I apologize for both encouraging me and Steven to talk super oh slow. Oh my god! I respect sticking to the bit, you know. Yeah. You got to stick to the bit. When we got to Brother Franklin, I was like, "He's a businessman. He's got to. He's got to make that bottom dollar." Yeah, listen, I, <laughs> I can't believe that Brother Franklin has has quit the cloth. He's no he's, longer he's a just member Mr. of the Franklin cloth, now. and now he's just no. fast as fuck, boy. Yeah, he's the turtle, Franklin Esquire. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was super fun. Um, so we don't know. So just as a note for anybody that is left in the audience, thank you so much for watching tonight, or those of you who will see this on YouTube later. Um, we we are returning to our regularly scheduled programming <laughs> this next Monday, unless again something happens. That's totally fine. But um, so we expect to be back in our main game, and we do expect to carry that through um, for at least a bit to get through one last little adventure that's prepared. But. Our group, as part of the open beta experience, we probably are going to start looking for times to run additional mid to high level items. We're trying to do a level five that we've done, a level six, a level seven, and a level eight. If we can get further than that, great, but that's going to be a lot to do. So um, we're going to be talking about that. So some reappearing one-shot characters or maybe some new ones yeah yeah and who kayla, knows kayla will be here or she won't it just depends on people's availability it's more loosey-goosey yeah. and it won't be on a schedule it'll just be whenever we can <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys so much was there anything else we needed to talk about guys Make sure you're following us on all platforms. We're on Twitter. Oh my We're God, out the there Facebook on Discord. Uh, did you like the Facebook post? No. <laughs> uh, I, it. I, I tried it out. I got like two likes. It didn't really work. Thank so, you. Um, <laughs> Thank yeah, you no problem. Yeah. Squire. I'm glad y'all had fun watching with us. If y'all uh, have any comments about my uh, uh, Dagger Master style, Please feel free. I love criticism. It always makes me a better person. Uh <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thanks, everybody. Y'all have a great week, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. I have to find the ending scene. Okay, bye. It's there somewhere. Bye. 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 <laughs>